Channel 4. The address is CBS. Welcome home. CBS Sports, home of the 1998 Olympic Winter Games. And hi again, everybody. Jim Nance. Welcome to College Football Today. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we continue the feast this afternoon with some NASDAQ College Football regional action on CBS. Most of you will see the SEC battle between Arkansas and 17th-ranked LSU, while others will see the improved Pittsburgh Panthers against the West Virginia Mountaineers in the Big East. They call it the Backyard Brawl. My backyard gang with me as usual, Craig James and Lou Holtz. And, hey, when you talk about coaches who've done a nice job their first season at a school, how about Walt Harris at Pittsburgh, Lou? Nice job. They can go to a bowl game if they beat West Virginia. A year ago, who would have thought it? Obviously, the AD at Pitt because he hired him. But Walt Harris had a better chance to be successful his first year because he had previous head coach experience. Look at it. Three of the four coaches that have done the best job have all been head coaches before. Yeah, you know, you look at guys like Tommy Bowden and Mike Cabin. Tommy Bowden, you've spoken before about how these guys need some experience. Well, he had his dad to watch when he was growing up how to be a head football coach. And Mike Cabin, y'all are going to laugh at me the first time I had a chance to <laughs> blow SMU for a while. Oh, but you know, you talk about SMU. You. Mike Cabin, the city of Dallas, regardless of what school affiliation these people have in Dallas, they really respect what he's done there. SMU has a chance to be a good program again. I would expect a sizable donation to your alma mater after those remarks. What about coaches that have had a hard time, though, in their initial season this year? Well, we have many assistant coaches that are struggling, but there's a big difference because when you're an assistant coach, you deal with 10 people. You become a leader and a manager. You become a head coach, you become a manager and a leader, as you can see some of them here. And we have no idea who is going to be successful on that group. All we know is it's hard. At Ron Turner at Illinois, I know some of the coaches on his staff. I played for some of those guys they know how to coach football but they got to find athletes at illinois and you look down the list mike devos at alabama alabama i feel like has a chance in the road devos has a chance to be successful and i think he will eventually turn this thing around i think alabama will turn around but we have no idea whether a guy's going to be as successful as a head coach or not until he's done it yeah, at least they have him though a former player there that's what alabama needs to turn it around all right guys one final already in today texas a m defeats texas big rushing day there for not only dante hall but also deandre hardeman had 121 yards Aggies are 9-2 going to the Big 12 final against Nebraska next week. Texas closes out just a disastrous season at 4-7. Be sure to join us at halftime for a special look at Tennessee's Peyton Manning, who's still the Heisman frontrunner. Coming up, though, it's NASDAQ College Football on CBS, Arkansas, LSU, Pittsburgh at West Virginia. And we'll be here at halftime throughout the afternoon as well. Enjoy the games right here on CBS. CBS Sports College Football Today is sponsored by MasterCard. MasterCard, the future of money. Size 4 flower dress, $45. New color lipstick, $15. Haircut, $25. Autofocus camera, $260. Five generations in one photograph. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Except it all over, even photo labs. To test their latest Parker, mother Gert Boyle and son Tim head for the mountains. Columbia Sportswear. Oh. For college football action, the address is CBS. Welcome home. It's time to set the record straight on resale value. In full-size pickups, there can only be one king of the hill. There is and his name is Chevy. Chevy, the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. Long live the king. Kirschman's announces the grand opening of our expanded and renovated West Bank store, and we're celebrating at all seven Kirschman's locations. 
Get this 18th century bedroom for just $888, chest included. This oak dining table and four chairs is just $397. You save over $500 and get two Lazy Boy recliners for one low price, $498. You won't find lower prices anywhere. We guarantee it. Plus, buy with no money down, no payments till March, no interest till $19.99. Don't miss the grand opening celebration at all Kirschman's locations. at the University of Arkansas have been focused on head coach Danny Ford, whose tenure as the leader of the Razorbacks is in question. A program once rich in football glory is struggling. For LSU and head coach Jerry DiNardo, it's been a roller coaster season. The high point sent the student body into a frenzy as they upset number one rated Florida. The Tigers are led by a ferocious rushing attack that's rated number one in the SEC. Running back Kevin Falk and quarterback Herb Tyler lead the way in a border rivalry that dates back 96 years. It's the Arkansas Razorbacks and the LSU Tigers, NASDAQ College Football on CBS Sports. Tiger, the symbol for LSU football. And today, Mike the Tiger, along with 80,000 fans, have crammed into Tiger Stadium, better known as Death Valley, as the LSU Tigers wrap up their season today. And they will be taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Four and six overall, two and five in the SEC. But last week, the Hogs scored a big upset, knocking off 15th ranked Mississippi State 17 to seven. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to NASDAQ College Football on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson. It's been a bittersweet year for 17th-ranked LSU. On October 11th, they knocked off Florida, at that time the number one team in the nation. But three home losses have left them out of the SEC championship picture. But with seven bowl-eligible teams in the SEC this year, they need a win today to enhance their chances of not just going to a bowl game, but going to a better bowl game. And joining me now, my partner, Mike Mayock. And Mike, different story for Arkansas. They've struggled the entire year, but they've improved the last two weeks. Yeah, statistically, they have the worst run offense in the SEC and one of the worst in the country at only 58 yards a game. But the last two weeks, they've had a spark. And it's been red shirt freshman tailback Rod Stinson. Two weeks ago against Tennessee, had 109 yards against a good defense. And last week, 27 carries in their upset win against Mississippi. Mississippi State. Now from the worst to the best, LSU's run offense is averaging 261 yards a game, led by their featured back Kevin Falk. All-American candidate, he reminds me of Warwick Dunn. He makes people miss. And I'll tell you what, Gus, if I'm Arkansas today, seven or eight guys in the box, just like Notre Dame did two weeks ago, and I'm going to force Herb Tyler, their quarterback, to beat me. LSU, they've won three straight games. Now the third member of our team roaming the sidelines today, Gary Apple. Okay, guys, this is what they're playing for here today. It's the Golden Boot Trophy. It weighs about 200 pounds, 24 karat gold, and they say it's worth about $10,000. The governor of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee, came by a few moments ago. He said, you know what? We're not leaving without this trophy today. And if you're wondering why it's the shape of a boot, if you look at the outline of the states of Louisiana and Arkansas, that's what you get. We've got the opening kickoff, Arkansas and LSU, NASDAQ College Football here on CBS, coming up right after this. Football on CBS is sponsored by Nissan, who reminds you that life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Wrangler, real, comfortable jeans. And by Campbell's Chunky, soup that eats like a meal. They've got a third and eight right now from the 29 shotgun formation. Quarterback shot.
Welcome back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Death Valley, Arkansas, and 17th ranked LSU NASDAQ College Football on CBS Sports. And the game time temperature, perfect for football, 72 degrees. Cloudy day, though, and we may see a little bit of rain before this one is over. LSU, they've won the toss. They will receive the football. Arkansas defending the north end zone as Todd Lauderette will kick it away and back deep. Rondell Mealy and Kevin fought for LSU, and they won't let him have the football. A short kick picked up at the 25-yard line. Advance to the 35, make it the 37-yard line. 12-yard gain for Kendall Cleveland. And here come the Tigers from LSU. They are led by starting quarterback Herb Tyler, who is 21-5 as a starter. And Mike, his coaches say that he can't hang his hat on one specific thing, but he is a winner. Uh, when, you, when you look at his winning percentage as a quarterback, he's 21-5 as a starter. What more can you ask for? First down and 10 from the 37-yard line for the Tigers. Falk the lone setback. And they're going to give it to him straight ahead. Plenty of room over the 45-yard line up to the 46-yard line. Kanoi Kennedy making the tackle. And offensively for LSU, Kevin Falk had 125 yards rushing against Arkansas last season in Little Rock. He leads the SEC in rushing his second straight 1,000-yard year. And up front, Alan Fanica, who recently has second been named down. a finalist for the Outland Trophy. He's one of the best offensive linemen in America. Eight-yard pickup on the last play, second down and two. Falk again on the counter, trying to cut it back inside. He's bottled up, though, at the 45-yard line. Jamel Harris making the tackle. And defensively for the Razorbacks, Melvin Bradley, their best defensive lineman. He's great against the run. He will plug things up. And the linebackers, Randy Garner, got great athletic ability. He's a freshman. Also, Quinton Caver, another true freshman, had 10 tackles last week against Mississippi State. And in the secondary, Marcus Campbell is their best cover man, along with Flowers Kennedy and Zach Painter. Third down and two from the 45-yard line. Here's Falk again, bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Second effort will get him close to the first down, but I don't think he got it. As Geno Bell, number 91, a senior from Columbia, South Carolina, was there in on the play. Well, we've got a fourth down situation, I believe. And this is LSU football. They want to run the football, but I think Coach DiNardo knows eventually he's going to have to mix some play action in, especially on run down. That's going to bring on Chad Kessler, the number one punter in the nation, averaging 50.4 yards per punt, and he can become the first punter in college football history to average over 50 yards per punt for the entire season. Here he goes, Flowers back deep, high spiraling punt, and it'll go into the end zone. Great for his average, another terrific punt by Kessler, this time 54 yards. So Arkansas will start on their own 20-yard line when we get back. everything you want this Christmas, including the Wrangler Cowboy Christmas tape, free when you buy Wrangler Western wear. If you're looking for a tough, dependable truck, you should take a closer look at the new Nissan Frontier. It now has more horsepower than Ranger, Tacoma, and S10. It also has a bigger cargo bed than all three, a smoother ride, and lots of features for a surprisingly low price. The rugged new Nissan Frontier. Come check it out for yourself. Dogs of trucks. Is your dandruff sending the wrong signals? Get Selsun Power. Doctors recommend Selsun Blue number one. So don't send the wrong signals. Get Selsun Power. 
the new wizard can remove grout, clean a golf club, sharpen tools, cut right through this screw. Soon your TV will have over 500 channels, almost enough to show you everything the new wizard can do. The new wizard, built by Black & Decker. Once a single library held the knowledge of the world. Centuries later, data was still controlled by an elite few. Then Oracle freed everyone to work with databases. Today, Oracle is putting the knowledge of the world online. It will forever change our markets and our culture. Where do you learn about companies whose future is as limitless as our hunger to know? Exactly. Nasdaq.com the coolest competition, the hottest performers. The USA battles the world's greatest skaters. Who will win the all-new Ice Wars? CBS Tonight. And welcome back to Death Valley. No score. 12 minutes, 38 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. Flint Sterner is the quarterback for Arkansas, a sophomore from Baytown, Texas. Mike, he keeps getting better and better each game. Yeah, Joe Ferguson, the quarterback coach, told me he likes the way he's starting to look off defensive backs late in the season. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line for the Hogs. Here's Rod Stinson going straight ahead, and he will go backwards. Chuck Wiley, the senior from Baton Rouge, making first contact, and there's that great run-stopping defense by LSU. Offensively for Arkansas, Anthony Eubanks, Eubanks their all-time leading receiver in catches and yardage, along with Stinson, the tailback. And up front, Burlesworth, the number one lineman on this team. He's an all-SCC candidate, a former walk-on. A loss of two yards in the last play, second down and 12 from the 18. Here's Sterner trying to pass. Ball knocked in the air. And it will go down. A lucky play for Arkansas. Al Herringer, the tight end, had the ball go right off his head. It hit him right in the helmet, and he did a good job just making sure it wasn't intercepted. <laughs> Man, that's a little embarrassing. You're a tight end. You've got nine catches all year, 89 on a crossing route on second and long. Sterner finds him, watch the ball hit him right in the helmet. Now it's up in the air. It's a jump ball. It's a basketball game right now, and you got to make sure it hits the ground. Makes it third down and 12 from the Arkansas 18. First drive of the game for the Razorbacks. Emmanuel Smith in motion. Short drop Sterner to the far side, incomplete. Emmanuel Smith, the intended receiver. Defensively for LSU, Chuck Wiley, Anthony McFarlane, they are great against the run. Wiley, fifth on the all-time sack list with 19. Joe Wesley leads the team in tackles with 99 on the season, and they have five defensive backs in the secondary. Chris Beard forced to start today in place of Mark Roman, who was suspended for this game for missing a team meeting. And Mark Roman's really a good football player, and they will miss him today. Matt Waite standing at his own four-yard line. Kevin Falk back deep. End over end kick. It will be short. And down at the 40-yard line by Emmanuel Smith. But I think they're going to down it at the 45. Smith may have touched the ball. No score. 11.40 to go. First quarter of play. Reggie! Did you eat your chunky soup? How did you get down here? Ma. Did you eat your chunky soup? Yeah, Ma. Chunky beef with country vegetables. With more beef than any other soup. Mmm. Lean beef, potatoes, vegetables. Chunky always hits the spot. Where'd you get that outfit? Can't talk, gotta go. Just want to make sure you're eating good. That's my mom. Oh, yeah? Which one? Campbell's Chunky Soup. It's loaded with beef. The new Nissan Altima GXE has more horsepower than a Camry LA. It comes with a standard CD player, unlike the Camry. And it's a whole $2,100 less than the Camry. But perhaps the best reason for buying the new Altima? It's not another Camry. The new Nissan Altima. The embattled Danny Ford in the fifth and final year of his contract he said that at the end of the season, he'll talk to his boss, Frank Broyles, about coming back. 
Now, one of the great change of paces in this LSU offense is their option game, especially back into the sideline. And what they do is they take their All-American guard, Fanica, get him out on the edge. They leave the defensive end unblocked. He's got to make a decision. And Herb Tyler, the engineer of this offense, does a great job. Motion back, one back set, back into the sideline. Fanica pulls. Tyler makes the correct decision, gets in behind Fanica again, and 40 yards later, it's a touchdown against the number one team in the country at that point, University of Florida. Jerry DiNardo in his third year came from Vanderbilt, 24-9-1 at LSU. A Notre Dame grad who won the national championship in 1973 was an All-American there as an offensive lineman and has really turned this LSU program around. First down and 10, Tyler short drop, fires, has booty at the 45-yard line, <laughs> and the freshman with the tackle, Quinton Caver. And they were not boos, folks. Number 88 there is Abram Booty, and whenever he catches the football, you're going to hear 80,000 people getting a boo for Booty. His, bro his brother Josh plays for the Florida Marlins, and he was one of the top quarterbacks coming out of college his senior season, but opted to play baseball, but has been trying to get back to this LSU football program, opting out of professional baseball second down and two from the 47 here's Falk again with the seam cut it back inside and is tripped up at the 35 yard line Caver again the true freshman with the tackle a 10 yard game that's what they want to do they just want to watch on the left side behind Jackson and Adam Curry this is the stretch play and this is where the eye tailback just finds the seam he makes the first guy miss as always and if you're Arkansas today, Gus, there's a premium on flying to the football because the first guy generally will not tackle Kevin Falk. Kevin Falk, five 100-yard games this season, was a first-team All-American last year. Tyler, this time, throwing a rope at the 33-yard line and a nice reception by Larry Foster, the sophomore from Harvey, Louisiana, as Marcus Campbell is there to wrap him up. Campbell. You know, I really like the play call. The last two first downs, they went play action pass, and this time, first down again, Foster, just a little hitch pattern. Four or five yards, turn, make the catch. There's nothing wrong with that, and ultimately, as the game progresses, their run game will be better because of their ability to throw the football. And yesterday, when we spoke to Morris Watts, their offensive coordinator, he said he really wanted to change things up on first down against Arkansas. Absolutely. Change of pace, little option, play action. Here's Fox straight ahead, plenty of room, and is chopped down at the 25. Kenoy Kennedy, the sophomore from Terrell, Texas, came up and made the tackle from his free safety position. Behind their All-American right guard, Alan Fanica. Take a look over here at the block. He's going to come right in here behind the Fanica and Langley on a stretch play on the cutback. There comes the cutback. Great job reading the hole. And that's what Falk always does, is he takes a look front side and then tries to get in behind Fanica on the cutback. Ibacks Gus traditionally love to cut back at the deep eye position. And Alan Fanica, a junior from Rosenberg, Texas, is truly one of the great college football players in the country. He is not allowed a sack the entire season. He came back. His weight continued to go up, as his coaches told us, during the offseason. And they got a little worried. But when they tested his body fat and his strength, they couldn't say anything to him about it because he keeps getting stronger and leaner. When they came in, he was 335. They made him go to 290. And then he started building back up again, but with good weight. And as the body fat went down and the weight went up, they just got a better football player. So far, running behind Vanica, Falk has five Ooh. carries, 25 yards, and a scrum at the 25-yard line. Bodies flying everywhere. There's the mark. Look at the linesman with his foot right there inside the 25-yard line. It looks to me like he's got the mark for the first down, and he does. Now, if I'm Herb Tyler, I'm probably going in behind the big fella, and he does. Doesn't get much of a push because Geno Bell does a great job. But look at him extend the football, Gus. And that's where he gets the first down. And Herb Tyler can run the ball. He has 445 yards rushing on the season on 83 carries. All right. Even better, Gus, seven touchdowns on the ground. That's a whole different dimension for your run offense. First down, it's in from the 25-yard line for LSU. Falk again over the left side. He gets down to the 20. Gino Bell with the tackle for the Hogs. Now let's check in with Jim Nance in New York. 
All right, Gus and Mike, opening drive for West Virginia. They race all the way down the field and find the end zone with Amos Zeroway. 7-0 Mountaineers at the start. Let's go back to Gus and Mike. All right, Jim, Amos Zeroway, one of the leading Second rushers down. in the country, along with Kevin Falcon. There's a kid that they say benches over 400 pounds, and he's about 5'7". Now, he's one of the strongest pound-for-pound pound in the country at any position. Sixth play of the drive that started on the 41-yard line for LSU. Falk again. They are going to give it to him all day. Over the 20. David Sanders with the tackle. Don't forget, we've got a doubleheader for you on CBS Sports tomorrow. Peyton Manning's last game in Knoxville as the Tennessee Volunteers ranked third in the country take on Vanderbilt. And Syracuse trying to exercise the <laughs> Miami Demons. Edger and James will not be playing in that game, the leading rusher for Miami. So Syracuse with the chance to win the Big East outright. Third down and two. Falk again towards the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Favorite play there, an isolation play gets in behind Tommy Banks, his fullback. That was like stealing, giving him a hole that size. And to attempt the extra point, Wade Ritchie. It's good. Seven minutes, 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. LSU leading Arkansas, seven to nothing. Introducing the tough new Nissan Frontier. It now has more horsepower than Ranger, Tacoma, and S10. It also has a bigger cargo bed than all three. A quieter cab than ever before. And a price that, well, you're sure to get excited about. But please, try to control your enthusiasm. The new Frontier. Now at your Nissan retailer. Dog love, ducks. on what to give honey this year give the blockbuster gift card great for movie rentals music and a whole lot more so instead of this honey, you're scaring me. give the blockbuster gift card after all tis better to give than return the vacation is over last time i saw her she was with this guy in his truck i swear i've never seen it before in my life until you live it you'll never know what hit you kurt russell in breakdown rated r from paramount rented tonight at blockbuster don't miss a Katerina Gordieva, her daughter Daria, and Scott Hamilton in the all-new ice skating special that will melt your heart. Snowden on Ice, CBS Tonight. 7.36 remaining in the first quarter. LSU leading it 7-0. Kevin Falk at the point of attack over his right tackle, Trey Langley. Good block by the fullback on the seal. And at this point, on his eighth carry... Kevin Falk scores a touchdown and has 50 yards in the game already. The scoring drive for the Tigers, eight plays covering 55 yards as they held the ball for four minutes and four seconds. So Wade Ritchie will tee it up for LSU, and he sends this one deep into the end zone and out of the end zone. A lot of leg on that kick by Wade Ritchie, the senior from Karen Crow. I'll tell you, great eye backs. Love the hole in here. Once right tackle blocks down, the fullback gets the seal right here, and boom, touchdown Marshall Falk. Watch the vision as he comes in. The down block, here comes 43 Tommy Banks with the seal block. The corner is wide open on the crease, and Marshall Falk just dances. Kevin Falk dances into the end zone. And Gus, my brothers had an over-under three <laughs> on how many times I was going to say what, Marshall Falk. Well, you've got two already. I got two already? <laughs> oh, man. First down and 10 from the 20. Here's the reverse. Emmanuel Smith trying to get outside. He does at 
the 20 up to the 25 yard line as Rayon Hill is there to run him out of bounds. But speaking of Marshall Falk and Kevin Falk, they are not related. They both research their family trees and uh, there are no bloodlines there, but both of them are terrific running backs from the state of Louisiana. Somehow I'm gonna have to exercise Marshall today. And, and I don't mean as, as in a form of a workout, I mean out of my mind. There's Kevin Falk already with the touchdown, a 17 yarder on the season he's got 14 rushing touchdowns five yard pickup though for Arkansas second down and five from their own 25 Anthony Eubanks the receiver at the bottom of your screen here's a draw play Stinson bounces it outside then cut it up and he is wrapped up at the 25 Rayon Hill there to make first contact not a lot of room for the freshman from Pine Bluff uh, the, the reason they've done well in their run game the last couple of weeks is they've stayed with Stinson because remember they've lost their two top tailbacks. Madre Hill had 1,200 yards two years ago, missed all of last season with an injury and all of this season. Stinson's got a little wiggle to him and they will get the ball to him as long as they don't fall too far behind. Became the first Arkansas running back to rush for 100 yards this season two weeks ago against Tennessee when he had 109. Sterner over the middle and a great catch. Eubanks at the 50 yard. Joe Wesley hauled him down, but Eubanks a gain of 26. He's the best receiver in the slot right here, number two, Anthony Eubanks. He's in the seam. This ball has to be thrown on time because he's double covered. The linebacker walled him off, and Rayon Hill went for the interception when he really needed to just make a solid hit. Sterner, three steps. He throws the ball on time in between two defenders. You see Rayon Hill thinks he's got the pick, and instead Eubanks comes down with it. First down and 10 from the 49. Stinson again over the left side, and he'll be dragged backwards. Chuck Wiley grabbing him before he got to the line of scrimmage. As we take a look at some of the scores from around the nation, West Virginia and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh trying for their first winning season in a long period of time. I can't remember the number, but uh, their coach is doing a terrific job with them this season. Yeah, Walt Harris is doing a great job. West Virginia, big game for them, bowl eligible team. The backyard brawl. Second down and seven from the 46. LSU showing blitz. Stinson bounces it outside at the 40, and he gets down to the 30-yard line of the Tigers. Rayon Hill there to make the tackle. Gain of 15. And LSU had committed about eight people to the line of scrimmage that time. And often, watch what happens when he breaks contain. The left side of the screen, when he cuts it back, he breaks contain. They've got everybody inside. Great job by Abernathy, 72. Maybe a little bit of a hold on Mixon. But a good job, once again, an eye tailback, reading where the hole is and breaking it to the outside. Stinson originally signed on to be a defensive back but because they were hurting in the backfield. They changed them to the offensive side of the football. Sterner looking over the middle, now to the sidelines, and Eubanks is there to cradle the ball at the 25-yard line. Cedric Donaldson, the senior, with the tackle. Eubanks. Out of Jackson, Mississippi. Eubanks, their all-time leading receiver, does a nice job running Donaldson off and then coming back to the football. See, Donaldson's got a shot at it, but Eubanks cuts him off. That's a good, solid play, picking up about five yards. Anthony Eubanks, a senior from Spyro, Oklahoma, eight 100-yard games in his career. He's the all-time leader in receptions and receiving yards. Two catches, 31 yards so far, second down and four. He's in motion. They hand it to the deep back, Stinson, around the corner again, out of bounds, inside the 20. Now, the SEC picture, this is how it looks. In the east, Tennessee, 6-1. and one. They will play Vanderbilt on CBS Sports tomorrow in Peyton Manning's final game. Florida coming off that big victory over Florida State at 6-2. And, and in the west, LSU, it's over. Auburn will be heading into the SEC championship game. Yeah, by virtue of their head-to-head -head competition, if they both finish 6-2, Auburn goes to the championship game, probably against Tennessee, as long as they take care of business with Bandy. First down and 10 from the 19. Delayed handoff. Stinson trying to skip through the hole, but nowhere to go. Kenny Mixon, the senior, coming up and making the tackle. Mixon. 
good football player, Kenny Mixon. When we talked to defensive coordinator Carl Reese the other day, he mentioned he thought this guy was going to be a high draft pick because he's a pure pass rush. 6'4", 260, can get up the field on the edge. NFL let him love those kind of guys. But Arkansas driving. They're coming off that 17-7 win over Mississippi State. And the Bulldogs at that time ranked number 15. Starter short drop again. Fired and it is caught. Anthony Lucas with the catch at the 10-yard line and did a great job to hold on to the football as Sterner just threw a frozen rope. Gain of 11. Man-to-man -man coverage, quick slant pattern. Lucas does a nice job against the best cover guy for LSU now. He gets, he gets him inside. That's the key. Takes the inside position away, beats him to the football, and he's big enough at 6'3", 190, and physical enough to hold on to the football and fight for every yard. Sterner, one, two, three, sees him, deliver it. That's a nice job, and that's what I like. The sophomore's doing a better job right now of throwing the football on time and having the confidence to deliver First it with a great arm. And that's the difference between this Arkansas team at the beginning of the season and the Arkansas team the last couple of weeks. They really have changed their scheme to fit their talent on the field. No question. And he, he's a sophomore quarterback. He was a wide receiver in high school until he was a senior. So it's really the evolution of this young man becoming a major college football player. Shorter drops yep. for Sterner. And quicker deliveries. Seven to nothing. LSU leading Arkansas. First down goal to goal from the nine. Goal for the Hogs. Here's Stinson running towards the end zone at the five. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. Chris Beard there to usher him out of bounds. But Stinson got around the corner, and he is close to Pater. That's why coaches will beg, borrow, and steal for speed. Everything's closed upside, so what do you do? You take it outside. You run away from the linebackers, and you take it right to the corner and almost get in. That's just a great job by Stinson. And Gus, as you said, he was a cornerback, but because of all the injuries, they've made him into a tailback. Second down goal to go from the LSU 2 for Arkansas. Trailing 7-0. They line up two tight ends. In the eye formation, Stinson with the ball, trying to hop over the pile, and he is stacked up at the two. He may have gotten close to the one, but Joe Wesley leaped over the pile and made contact with him. The key to goal line defense is low and penetration. You can see what happens right there. There's nowhere to jump from. He tries to elevate, but because of the penetration of the defensive line, there's nowhere for him to go. There goes the vertical leap, and Charles Smith, Wesley, everybody in there to stop. Danny Ford trying to salvage the season by knocking off a ranked team on in unfriendly territory. The timeout has been called on the play. 2.17 remaining in the first quarter. LSU leading 7-0, but Arkansas knocking on the door. Clueless on what to give? Honey? This year, give the Blockbuster gift card. Great for movie rentals, music, and a whole lot more. So instead of this... Honey, you're scaring me. Give the Blockbuster gift card. After all, tis better to give than return. The vacation is over. Last time I saw her, she was with this guy in his truck. I swear, I've never seen it before in my life. Until you live it, you'll never know what hit you. Kurt Russell in Breakdown. Rated R from Paramount. Went to tonight at Blockbuster. I rolled the dice for eight bucks. I unloaded my Tonka for 12 bucks. You get seriously low commissions with Ameritrade. Internet trade for $8, Touchstone trade for $12, or trade with a broker just $18, no matter how many shares you trade. We went to Club Med for $18. Plus, your first five trades are commission-free when you open an account. Call 1-800-592-7694 or visit our website. Ameritrade, the way to trade, period. 217 remaining in the first quarter. LSU leading Arkansas 7 0 on a 17 yard touchdown by Kevin Fall. And Arkansas right now, though, trying to answer. They have the ball sitting at about the one and a half yard line. This is a key game for this guy. Youngest coach to ever win a national championship with Clemson at age 33 back in 1981. 
He's on the hot seat in Arkansas right now. Four and six after a four and seven campaign a year ago. He's going to have a talk with athletic director Frank Royals tomorrow to determine the fate of this coaching staff. 12 play of the drive for the Razorbacks that started on the 20-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Five receiver package. Stinson, here's a quarterback draw to the end zone. He dives in, and Arkansas gets on the board. And that is a great call by offensive coordinator Kay Stevenson. You spread the field, four wides, plus your tailback goes all the way out to the sideline. Nobody in the backfield. That spreads everybody horizontally, and then your quarterback takes it right up the middle because there's nobody attached to him man-to-man. -man. You split the field wide open. Real nice call by Arkansas. Todd Lauderette in to attempt the extra point. He's 17 of 17 on point after tries this season. Matt Waite, the holder, and the extra point is good. Arkansas striking back. They tie it up at seven apiece in the first quarter with two minutes and 12 seconds to go. And that's what you want if you're Danny Ford. They really feel that LSU, they are prime for an upset today. Yeah, when I was speaking with some of the coaches down on the field prior to today's game, they all were trying to gauge the LSU attitude. They feel like after they got spanked by Notre Dame 24 to 6 two weeks ago and then had to watch Auburn win against Alabama, effectively taking them out of the title race, that they had a shot here for a team very ripe for an upset. 12 plays, 80 yards as they held the ball for five minutes and 18 seconds in a great effort by sophomore quarterback Clint Sterner. As he dove in out of the shotgun. But don't forget tonight on CBS, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, it snowed in on ice. Olympic champion skater E. Katarina Gordieva and Scott Hamilton join world champion Kurt Browning in this story of a single mother who returns to her childhood home years after losing a skating competition. Then at 9 Eastern, it's Ice Wars, USA versus the world. Nancy Kerrigan, Brian Boitano, Oksana Bayouk, Katarina Vitt, and Victor Perchenko. Is Falk from the five. Wedge set up in the middle, going straight ahead. And he is wrapped up from behind at the 35-yard line, a 31-yard return. Now let's go downstairs to Gary Apple. All right, Gus, this is a noisy stadium, and it's never been noisier than back in 1959, Halloween night. The great Billy Cannon went to work, took the punt at his own 11-yard line. He broke seven tackles and was on his way for an 89-yard touchdown. Number one LSU beat number three Ole Miss, and it was so noisy that families living around the campus came running out of their homes, wondering what the eruption was. In fact, it's so noisy here that in 1988, when LSU won a big game, it actually registered on the seismograph in the geology department here at LSU. Gus Mike, back to you. All right, Gary. Gary doing some serious homework there. The seismograph in the geology department. I'll tell you what. You and I couldn't spell seismograph <laughs> given about a week. And a, and a dictionary. Larry Foster with the 14-yard catch as LSU gets up to midfield. And that's what Herb Tyler is really good at. When he gets out of the pocket, his passing efficiency goes up a great deal. And I love them throwing the football on first down. That gives him his best opportunity to be effective. First down and 10 from the 50. Falk in the backfield. Check that. Rondell Mealy over the right side. And he'll pick up a couple. Let's head to Jim Nance, who's standing by in New York. All right, Gus, Pittsburgh going from east to west. They hand off to Billy West. He'll take it 13 yards for the touchdown. Pittsburgh and West Virginia now tied late first quarter. Let's go back to Gus and Mike. 107 to go in the first quarter here in Death Valley, 7-7. Seven seven. Clint Sterner, the quarterback for Arkansas, diving ahead for a two-yard touchdown to tie the game up. LSU, though, coming right back down the field. Second down and six from the 47-yard line. Tommy Banks in motion. Here's the option. Herb Tyler keeping it. He'll get close to the 40-yard line. Tackled at the 43 by Norman Nero. It's exactly the play we talked about in our coach's playbook. Option back into the weak side, into the sideline. What they're trying to do is take advantage of his athletic ability in the open field, especially if they can get their big All-American guard, Alan Fanica, out ahead of him. 
So Herb Tyler, a junior from New Orleans. They say he doesn't run extremely well. He doesn't pass extremely well. All he does is win football games for LSU. Mealy slashing through the hole. And he'll get to the 37, a gain of five yards. And it doesn't take a lot to figure out what LSU's doing. They pitch it right. They pitch it left. They go straight ahead. And that's why they lead the SEC in total rushing. They average 261 yards a game. But, Gus, it doesn't matter who lines up at that eye position. They have so much talent there. You know, Cecil the Diesel Collins had a huge beginning of the season when Falk had a problem. And that is the end of the first quarter of play with the score LSU and Arkansas tied up at seven apiece. We'll return to Tiger Stadium right after this message and a word from your local station. My customers drive they depend on ac doco batteries they last up to 30 percent longer i'm sure they do just give me the generic equipment okay ac delco if you're not asking for it you're asking for it from the moment you draw your first breath you are different unique in look and personality footprints and dna and no one understands that more than the men and women of fidelity who work with 12 million investors. No two of whom are alike. How you work with us is your choice. Because it's your money. And helping you make the most of it is what makes Fidelity different. For college football action, the address is CBS. Welcome home. It's like bringing home a weekend getaway at a luxury resort. And the best part is, you can keep it. I'm talking about my new Pennsylvania house bedroom from Door Furniture. My husband liked the solid cherry wood construction. I just thought it was beautiful. And we both liked the price. 40% off, now at Door Furniture. For the largest collection of solid wood furnishings, all on sale, bring home your favorite settings from Door. Door Furniture. 914 Elysian Fields, five blocks from the river. You're a 90s guy. You're sensitive, caring. Oakland Heart offers extraordinary jewelry at ordinary prices to say exactly how you feel. Because you might be a 90s guy, but you're still a guy. Oakland Heart, just what are you trying to say? If I want a medal, I'm going to give it to my dad. He supported me from the very first day. Out there before work, have to work with me whether I won or lost. And he's given up so much so his little girl could have a chance. I love my dad for what he's done. I can't wait to see his face when I give him that medal. Work smart around electricity. You may be part of someone's dream. Jerry DiNardo has really done wonders with this LSU program in his third season. They've really embraced him. As a matter of fact, the Italian DiNardo, they make him a Frenchman, spelling his name D-I-N-A-R-D-E-A-U-X when they win. But when they lose, they say they go back to spelling it the Italian way. Here's Herb Tyler as he scrambles out of bounds. So Jerry DiNardo, sometimes he doesn't know if he's French or if he's Italian. I, I got a clue for him. When he wins, he's French. When he loses, he's Italian. That's exactly what's happening here. He was very pleasant when we spoke with him yesterday in his office. Now he's, a, he's still a Brooklyn guy. He's you a know, Brooklyn you can't guy. Take the Brooklyn out of him, and, and I like him. He's from St. Francis Prep in Brooklyn. Some of their other alumni. How about Joe Torrey, Vince Lombardi, Dan Henning, Jimmy O'Brien? Really kind of an interesting situation at St. Francis Prep in Brooklyn. Second down and nine from the 37 for LSU. Tyler dropping straight back, and he let it go. Booty with the catch. Turns it upfield at the 20, lowers his head, gets out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. First down for the Tigers. A 21-yard gain for the true freshman from Shreveport. 
what he did was he enrolled in January as a true freshman, which gave him the, the ability to go to spring football, which really helped him. Four or five speed runs. The, look at that. The, re, the defensive back, Zach Painter, gave him about a six-yard cushion. He turns it up the field. I'll tell you right now, Zach Painter has got to challenge him more. He was six yards off when he turned the hips and ran. Booty lines up wide to the far side. Rondell Mealy, the lone setback for LSU. Foster, the receiver, at the bottom of your screen. Option to the near side. Herb Tyler cut it in. Crawls his way inside the 10-yard line as he gets close to the five. Norman Nero there to trip him up, if not a touchdown for LSU. Boy, good job by Tyler reading and what happens is his All-American Fanica pulls out in front look at big 66 he's gonna push Harris right out of the way great read by the quarterback Tyler and in the red zone that's truly an effective play because most teams are playing man-to-man -man, so your wide receivers can run the corners off and if you get a seal block inside forget about it with a guy like Tyler second down and two from the eight-yard line for LSU Rondell Mealy in the backfield Bruno Hankton in motion Mealy and Mealy breaks one tackle, gets his feet going, stumbles ahead, and he'll be close to the goal line. What a great second effort by Rondell Mealy, the sophomore from Destrehan, Louisiana. This guy could start for most teams in the country. There's a poor block by Tommy Banks. So right there, Norman Nero's got a shot to make a tackle in the backfield. He busts four or five tackles, keeps fighting. He can play anywhere in the country. Why, here comes the block by Hankton. Norman Nero splits through, misses the tackles. Two, three, four. Hey, Arkansas, wrap up. And Rondell Mealy straight ahead, touchdown. Rondell Mealy, seven rushing touchdowns on the season. You can't arm tackle this man. Fanica with the down block, Langley point of attack Tommy Banks look at the arm tackles right there you can't arm tackle him and that sets up the touchdown and the extra point is good 13 minutes and two seconds remaining in the second quarter LSU on top of Arkansas 14 to 7 formidable strength and a distinctly individual style. This Sierra is the most powerful half-ton truck in GMC's history. Sierra gives you the style to stand apart from the herd. And the power to pull it. Sierra by GMC, putting you comfortably in command. They created their microprocessor in 1971. And the faster their chips have performed, the faster their company has grown. Today, the Intel design is the brains behind the majority of the world's PC. By the 21st century, their chip could execute two billion instructions in one second. Where do you learn about such fast-thinking companies? Exactly. Nasdaq.com And over each other. Uh, take these back. They're over hard. Try again. I think I liked you better smoking. He's quitting cold turkey. Hey, I'm quitting myself. Can I suggest? Nicoderm CQ. Does that help? If it didn't, you'd be wearing these eggs. With a 24-hour stream of medicine, Nicoderm CQ calms even nasty cravings. It's the power to calm, the power to comfort, the power to quit successfully. You know what? I like you better not smoking. Her psychiatrist convinced her that she had 126 different personalities, including that of a cannibal. How widespread is this kind of nonsense? 60 Minutes, Sunday. Nine play drive for LSU makes it a 14-7 game with 13 minutes and two seconds to go in the second quarter. Let's go downstairs to our Gary Apple. Okay, Gus, it's uh, noisy in here today, but you know, LSU has much better success playing night games here at Tiger Stadium. There are a myriad of reasons as to why, but as you look at the graphic here, you can see they've uh, lost 
over 30% of their games, or one only 30%, 36% of their games during the day, and they've lost over 70, uh, one over 70% of their games at night. Both coaches agree that uh, there's a dip different atmosphere in here at night, and uh, one of the big reasons why they went, may have not won more games in the afternoon is because of the fact that they play better teams for national television in the afternoon. Fellas? All right, Gary, as Wade Ritchie once again for the second time kicks this ball out of the end zone. And Arkansas forced to start on their own 20. That young man, number 26, Rod Stinson, has done a good job so far in this first half of play, running the ball. Sterner, a two-yard touchdown already. Yeah, I like this young man. The first couple of tapes I watched of him, he was a little bit shaky, but they were earlier in the season. The last two weeks, much more confidence, shorter steps, three and five step drops, really has done a great job. Third consecutive start at the 20 yard line for Arkansas. Out of the pro set, Sterner, five step drop this time, going for the home run, and it's caught! It's Lucas, and he's heading for the end zone! Touchdown, Arkansas, 80 yards! Wow. And Sterner read that correctly the whole way. He had man-to-man -man bump and run coverage on Anthony Lucas. The free safety could not be a factor. And Lucas just flat out beat Chris Cummings. Look at it. Bump and run coverage. It's man on man. Doesn't get a good shot. There's immediate separation. Folks, look where this ball's put. You can't run out there and hand it to Lucas any better than that. Great route. Even better pass. Great play. Anthony Lucas, a sophomore from Tallulah, Louisiana. An 80-yard touchdown, his fourth touchdown of the season. The extra point is good. And Arkansas, I tell you, a dramatic improvement between the team that played at the beginning of the season and the team that's on the field right now. CBS Sports coverage of NASDAQ College Football will continue after this word from your local station. For college football action, the address is CBS. Welcome home. Inside our leather gallery, you'll find quite a collection. One that goes... Which means that here you'll always find the hide you seek. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Wishing for low furniture prices this Thanksgiving weekend? Then come to the Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries after Thanksgiving sale, where you'll find gigantic reductions on our incredible store-wide selection. But hurry, because it'll all be gone in a snap. card with any activation radio phone get your stock in rocket my friend JD was about to deliver the punchline of his surefire never fail joke and then the elephant says not with my trunk you don't <laughs> seems his son Daryl had a knack for knowing the exact yeah. worst time to unplug the phone so he could go online not with my truck hello so I suggested they get an additional oh. phone line which allowed J.D. to say his surefire no, joke without Daryl's constant interruption. And the elephant says, not with my trunk, you don't. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, he didn't want to with his trunk. Play the Louisiana Lottery tonight on Channel 4. 80-yard touchdown, Anthony Lucas, and he ties the game up for Arkansas, 14 apiece. As you see that little hand sign that he's making, I see, that I is see, the sign I for see, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, over. which he is a proud right, member of. And uh, you weren't by any chance, no, no, were you? Well, yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I am. Because <laughs> I had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> a member of Kappa Alpha Psi ties it up at 14 apiece. I hope that's the second and final time for Kappa what happened. <laughs> and they kick it away. Falk, backpedaling in his own end zone, three yards deep, brings it out ahead and gets up to the 20-yard line. 
Now, Alex Clint, Harris with the tackle for Arkansas. Clint Sterner knows he's got man-to-man -man here, and if they run the fade, the safety can't get there. So his pre-read says, I'm going to the outside receiver against press coverage. Rayon Hill, the free safety, can't get there, and a good separation at the snap. Anthony Lucas does the rest. The ball's perfectly delivered, and 80 yards later, we got ourselves a football game, 14-14. to Anthony Lucas, the number two receiver. Eubanks, the number one receiver for Arkansas, but he got down the field in a hurry on that play. LSU starting at their own 21. Tyler rolling out of the pocket, throwing on the run, and he put it on the money to Booty, who steps out of bounds at the 33-yard line, gain of 11. And once again, I love the call on first down. Get Herb Tyler out on the edge, sprint out pattern, Booty comes back to the football, and Arkansas sitting there expecting run. That's just a great call on first down. I give a lot of credit to the offensive coordinator, Morris Watts. Tyler, 5 of 5 so far, 59 yards. And another first down for the Tigers. Rondell Mealy, and he is slung down at the line of scrimmage. David Sanders, the senior from Jackson, Mississippi, with the tackle. So around the country, let's take a look at some of the conferences. Syracuse, 5-1. and one. They've got a big game tomorrow with Miami, and they've never beaten Miami. Yeah, they've got to take care of business right here. They've never beaten them, but if they win this game and go to 6-1 and one in the conference, they're also going to the big Alliance Bowl right there, and that's the key. They've got to win that game, and they probably go to the Fiesta. Edger and James, the number one tailback for Miami, will not be playing. Bootleg again, Tyler. This time he tucks it and picks up the first down, getting out of bounds at the 42-yard line. There to usher him out of bounds, Jeremy Flowers. Here we go again, play action. Alan Fanica, the All-American guard, pulls out and chops. Watch number 66. It's play action. Quarterback's going to come this way. Guard gets the key block on the corner, allowing the quarterback, Tyler, to get to the sideline. There's the play action. Fanica, number 66. Now he's going to chop some wood right there. Allows Tyler to the edge. Looks like a first down. And, Mike, he's a guard. And what's the difference between a great guard and a great tackle? Great tackle has got to have wonderful feet, great hands to reach out and control a defensive end. But more than anything, he's got to be able to play on the edge. And that means if you're in space with nobody to your outside and you've got a great pass rusher against you, it's like being a cornerback, Gus, one-on-one, -on -one, and nobody can help you. Great guard, on the other hand, yeah, and you got to run, you got to be tough, you got to be strong, but you have a little bit of uh, comfort level on either side of you. Herb Tyler play action, firing complete at the 47-yard line. Once again, April Booty with the catch, and he steps out of bounds. But Tyler really looking for the true freshman. And watch Booty run his guy off. It's press coverage. This is a tough route to run. He's against number 28, Andrea Moss. He pushes off of him and runs him away right at the first down marker. That's better than most true freshmen can do. Because when you're in press coverage, man, it's hard to get the separation and then come back to the football. Booty, four, four receptions for 50 yards. Already. Second down and one from the 48-yard line for LSU. They hand it off. And once again, scampering through the hole is Rondell Mealy. Melvin Bradley there to wrap him up. Don't forget, coming up on the college football today halftime show, Jim Nance, Craig James, and Lou Holtz, our three amigos, will be along with the latest news, scores, and highlights from around the country. Also, a look at the Heisman frontrunner, University of Tennessee quarterback Peyton Manning. That's coming up next on the College Football Today halftime show. You know, Lou Holtz was a very successful coach here at Arkansas for seven years. He was 60, 21, and two. And off to Melia, he is just mugged in the backfield. A great play by number 96, Ryan Hale, a junior from Rogers, Arkansas. Wow. Big hit. Loss of three yards. Just a good hit by Ryan Hale. What happens here, they miss the block. Hale comes through untouched between the center and guard gap and just kills the tailback. Makes it second down and 13 from the 48. Tyler setting up the screen, got it away to Mealy. He's got a blocker at the 45. 
down the sidelines. Mealy is out of bounds inside the Arkansas 25. Kanoi Kennedy with the saving tackle, but it's a gain of 23. Man, I, I love their tailbacks, but I like Alan Fanica even more, the guard. Watch the hustle here. Good job by Herb Tyler selling it. Letting the guy through. Now look at big guy right there. That's Fanica. Watch him hustle down. McClure slips and falls. Fanica gets out ahead, makes a big block, and that allows Mealy to get to the to the sideline and make the big play. Rondell Mealy getting a lot of playing time in the first half. Kevin Falk back in the game now at tailback for LSU. Here's the option to the near side. They pitch it. And he is wrapped up at the 20. Good-looking tackle by Kanoi Kennedy, the sophomore from Terrell, Texas. That is one of the keys to defending the option is your free safety has got to be active weak side. And Kanoi Kennedy, their free safety, read it correctly, down the line option. The pitch, Painter takes quarterback, and watch Kennedy flash, bang, right there. That's an excellent play by the free safety, recognizing flow weak and filling the hole. Kanoi Kennedy. Wrapped him up at the 19. Second down and six for the Tigers. Kevin Falk, the lone setback. Foster to the far side. The option. Tyler bottled up, tries to spin out of traffic, and goes down at the 20-yard line. Ken Anderson, Melvin Bradley combining on the tackle for the Hogs was Melvin Bradley, a good football player. They play him at nose guard. They play him at defensive end. He's a former linebacker. And that's the trend in college football, I believe. It yep. began with Jimmy Johnson at Miami when he was the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes, yep. taking linebackers, moving them down, taking defensive backs, moving them to linebacker, and so on. College football today is all speed. All speed. You're trying to get your, your fastest guys, your toughest guys on the field at the same time, and that's why Bradley's doing a great job at those guys. Out of the shotgun for LSU, setting up a screen again, and nobody there. Closest man to the football is Fanica. <laughs> yeah. And Herb Tyler is drilled at the 40-yard line. But what happened was Larry Foster, the wide receiver, got knocked down. They were trying to get a wide receiver screen there. Number 22, Larry Foster, he was buried under about six people, and there was nowhere to go with the football. So Tyler, 7 of 8, his first miss of the game, and they will bring on Wade Ritchie to kick. Now, this is interesting. They haven't kicked the field goal since the second game of the season, September 13th. This one is up. And good! 37 yards for Richie, and you would think he just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> this is like a high school team making a long field goal. I mean, can you believe that Division 1A top 20 team is 3 for 13 in field goals coming in? A lot of pressure on this young man, Wade Richie. Kicks it throw. How about that? Wade, how do you spell relief, pal? 37-yard <laughs> field goal. 17-14 LSU. With Plymouth, this is what you pay for, and this is what you get. Take, for example, Plymouth Neon. You get all this. And now these special savings. Get 1,500 cash back or 1.9% APR, so you can save over 2,700 in finance charges. One more time. This is what you pay for, and this is what you get. Plymouth Neon, only at your local Plymouth dealer. Have you seen the elf? Have you seen what the elf can do? The elf does its magic with advanced photo system film. Presto, it's loaded. Now take super shots in three different sizes. The elf even shows you the whole roll on one print. Have you seen all the elves? Elf, the big name in the advanced photo system from Canon. A lot of people my age set off on cruises around the world. Now, I set off on a second career. Hi, guys. Of course, my Dean Witter Broker's impeccable investment advice prepared me for any sort of retirement I chose. And I chose to start over with a business of my own. Wait a minute. Are you sure you're old enough to be here? <laughs> That's my idea of a fascinating adventure. At Dean Witter, we measure success one investor at a time. 
Jim Nance back in New York coming up on the College Football Today Halftime Report. Craig and Lou will join me to talk about today's games, and we'll take a closer look at the player who's still the Heisman leader, Tennessee's Peyton Manning, who plays in his last home game tomorrow. That's all coming up at halftime. Now back to the game. All right, Jim, Peyton Manning, a terrific football player, and he's done a lot with college football, just staying in school, turning down all the millions. His final game tomorrow on CBS. And Wade Ritchie, fresh off the 37-yard field goal, his third straight touchback as Rod Stinson takes the knee in the end zone. And Gus, we've had an opportunity the last two years to cover Peyton Manning in several games. And, and speaking for myself, I can't tell you how impressed I am with him, not just as a quarterback, but the quality of the individual. He gives back to the Knoxville community. Kids love him there. He stayed in school, as you mentioned, because he liked being a college student. You and I are both Heisman voters this year. That's we, right. We, we got our Heisman ballots. <laughs> we got a tough, I think we got a real, real tough choice coming up in the next few weeks. I tell you, the kid in Michigan, Mm -hmm. Woodson is a tremendous football player who's been able to come through in the clutch part every big game. And part of me, as an old defensive player, would love to see a defensive guy get it, but not from your home state. <laughs> First down to Ben from the 20. Play action, Sterner setting up in the pocket, going down the sideline, and Eubanks with the catch! It's a foot race, Eubanks, he'll be caught! No, he won't! Touchdown, Arkansas! <laughs> That's two one-play drives. Back-to-back 80-yard -back plays. That's two consecutive one-play 80-yard touchdown drives. And that was a wheel route where the inside guy runs an out and up. The corner bit on the outside guy. And 80 yards later, watch what happens here. Outside guy runs a little curl route. The inside guy, Eubanks, out and up. Number 19, Cummings gets caught up in that, and that's two plays in a row that Chris Cummings has been beat deep for 80 yards. And it looked as if he would get caught, but managed to squeak it out at the end. An 80-yard touchdown, Anthony Eubanks, an 80-yard touchdown, Anthony Lucas. So the two Anthonys are putting on a show in the first half in Death Valley. Arkansas coming off that 17-7 win. So they'll move it back. A 17-7 win for Arkansas against Mississippi State. But prior to that, in Little Rock, they really played Tennessee tough, losing 30-22. to And Tennessee had to come back to win that football game. So this is a team under Danny Ford that's peaking late. The question is whether or not it's early enough to save his job. The extra point is up and good. Todd Lauderette. Makes it a 21-17 Arkansas lead here in the second quarter. Ever since I can remember, Jake did things his own way. Nobody believed him when he said he was going to surf the mountain. Snowboarding will never be as popular as skiing. <laughs> yeah. Why do I use the car? I spent my whole life doing things my own way. American Express never questioned it. With Plymouth, this is what you pay for. And this is what you get. Take, for example, Plymouth Neon. You get all this. And now these special savings. Get 1,500 cash back or 1.9% APR, so you can save over 2,700 in finance charges. One more time. This is what you pay for, and this is what you get. Plymouth Neon, only at your local Plymouth dealer. Dang it! How do I get the game on this thing? Uncle Ned. What? That's not the TV. Well, what is it? Here, watch. At Packard Bell, we torture test every computer we make, so they can pass the toughest test of all. Home. See? He was out. Packard Bell, the computer the world comes home to. Featuring the Intel Pentium 2 processor. How do I get the news on this thing? 
Last week, we asked you, the fan, to choose college football's all-time greatest rivalry from our list of nominees. And now let's check out the results of the Packard Bell CBS Sports Line all-time greats polls where you pick college football's all-time greatest rivalry. And here it is, Ohio State and Michigan, 33%. Tune into our game next weekend and find out who is the fan's choice in the Packard Bell CBS Sports Line all-time greats poll. The greatest bowl games is the next category. And ironically, the sun has started to shine on the Arkansas side of the football field. <laughs> the symbolic Gus Johnson. Well, you know, it'll be a little literary on that. One, one great rivalry they didn't have one there is a BC game that's going to be played Cross. tomorrow. No grambling and Southern in the Bayou Classic. Here's Falk, one yard in his own end zone. He'll run up the sidelines, trying to skip through the hole at the 15 and will be driven down at the 17-yard line. Make it 18. Jamel Harris with the special teams tackle for the hall. Now watch Eubanks come in motion out and up, and then the outside guy runs curl. That puts the safety in a dilemma. Eubanks runs a little out route. Now he's going to turn it up the field. Safety sees the curl in front of him, but wait a minute. Can I get deep outside? Uh-oh, busted. And Eubanks, just like his buddy, Anthony Lucas, on one play drive will take it 80 yards for a touchdown and a 21-17 Arkansas lead. Two 80-yard touchdowns in the first half for Arkansas. Here's the play-action fake. Herb Tyler going for the home run. Booty all alone. And incomplete. Overthrown Booty had just outran the coverage. David Barrett was there. And Booty just ran right by him. Now, Danny Ford for Arkansas, I'm sure in the locker room, really preached that this is an opportunity for his team to stage a great upset. But one of the greatest upsets in Arkansas football history was delivered by our coach Lou Holtz in 1978 when Arkansas just pummeled Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Hey, I was a junior at BC, and Lou Holtz suspended several of his top players, and they were a big underdog against number two Oklahoma and killed them. Play action again, Herb Tyler to the near side, great catch, Foster. All hands out of bounds at the 27. And one thing they say about that game is Coach Holtz probably delivered one of the greatest pre-game locker room speeches in the history of college football. He really got his gang fired up for that game. Well, you know what happened early is I remember Billy, Billy Sims, the great tailback from Oklahoma, fumbled, boom, convert, touchdown. Then Kenny King fumbles, and all of a sudden it's 14-0. And Lou, and you and I know, Lou can get it going a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to ask Coach to give us an oration at halftime. I wonder what he said in the locker room. That would be interesting. Hey, Coach, you got to tell us now. <laughs> Third down and one from the 28. Tommy Banks, the motion man. Here's the option to the near side again. Tyler will keep it over the 30, up to the 34. Melvin Bradley tackling him from behind. Don't forget rivalry Saturday coming up tomorrow on CBS. First, Vanderbilt and Tennessee, Peyton Manning's last game against a Vanderbilt team that he has always struggled with. Woody Woodenhauer offers defense, rather, really uh, a complex defense for Peyton, followed by Syracuse and Miami. Yeah, the key here is Syracuse has got to win to go to the Alliance Bowl, because if they lose to Miami, then there's a three-way tie, assuming West Virginia beats Pitt today. Herb Tyler setting up in the pocket, winds up, delivers to Booty at the 45-yard line and out of bounds. 13-yard gain for the freshman, Abram Booty. Booty is just doing a wonderful job running off Chalmers here. Now, look, Chalmers thinks it's a deep route, and then he turns his hips back to the sideline, runs away from Chalmers. That's his fifth or sixth catch already. Five catches for 63 yards, having a career day as the true freshman, Abram Booty. Best game of the season, four catches, 101 yards against Florida. Here's a draw play. Falk spinning over the 50-yard line inside Arkansas territory. Corey Nichols with the tackle. Pittsburgh, West Virginia, 14-10 in the second quarter. And Nebraska against Colorado. Some feel, Mike, that Nebraska, if they win against Colorado, then play Texas A&M in the Big 12 championship and win that game, followed by winning their game 
during the bowl season, they could get a share of the national championship with uh, Michigan. Well, that's their hope, but remember what happened two years ago. They went 12-0, Penn State went 12-0, and Penn State didn't get a share. So I think they're a little concerned about payback this year. Second down and four from the 48. They tossed to Falk, got through the hole. Face mask and Finley coming up against Arkansas at the 45. Nichols held on, and Falk is basically dragged to the ground. Really impressed with the ability of Fanica to pull out. They've used him several times today. Bootleg, toss sweep, even stretch play. Pulling out on the edge and blocking a smaller man. There's a personal foul. Face man against the defense. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Well, they gave Automatic the 15. First down. Rogers Redding, your referee. Number 66 is Fanica. He's out ahead already. Now look at the left hand right there on Fox. And that's when they call the 15-yard penalty. When you end up jerking the guy's neck, it's an automatic 15. If your hand just uh, glances across, it's a five-yard penalty. So the Tigers with the ball at the Arkansas 31, trailing it 21 to 17, 633 and counting in the first half of play. You know, Gus, we've talked nothing but offense so far because both offenses have had their way here. But sooner or later, the defense is going to have to step up and make a play, make a stop. Kevin Falk, the lone setback for LSU. Two tight ends in the game for the Tigers. Option again. Herb Tyler over the 30, inside the 29. And one thing in talking to the LSU coaches yesterday, they mentioned that on their option, they rarely pitch the football. Yeah, there are several different kinds of options, but the way LSU runs, it's out of one back. Therefore, there's no fake. And what they try and do is block the corner. And there you can see Billy Elias to your left, assistant head coach, and there to the right, right in the middle of the screen, Morris Watts. And they told us they're doing a great job getting the, the uh, offensive guard on the contain man and allowing Herb Tyler to cut up inside. Tyler with a big touchdown against Florida on that same play here on October 11th. Tyler this time fought through the hole cleanly and is tripped up from behind. Geno Bell making first contact. D.J. Cooper also in on the play. Geno Bell, a senior from Columbia, South Carolina. So when you look at what this Arkansas team is doing the last three games of the season, there is a case for Danny Ford to be able to keep his position. In my mind, no question. He works for a former coach named Frank Royals. He's a very opinionated guy. He's been around forever. Falk again, slashing through the defense, tackle at the 20-yard line. Nichols again. But, you know, you talk about Danny Ford and where he's going. There's no more accomplished coach in the country than Danny Ford. Had an incredible record at Clemson. He was 96-29-4. and four. Uh, He's going to sit down with Frank Royals. And I think part of the problem, Gus, was they had high expectations coming into this year. A lot of injuries. They hit a low point against South Carolina where they got beat 39-13. to 13. But really, the last four or five weeks, they played much better. And that's what Frank Royals is going to have to decide. First down and 10 from the 19. Here's a drop play again. Falk into the secondary. Cutting it to the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Yeah. 19-yard touchdown to go along with a 17-yarder. And LSU takes the lead. Well, Quentin Caver. Their true freshman outside linebacker runs himself right by there. Doesn't even get blocked. He runs right by. Kevin Falk does the rest. Shake, bake, touchdown. A lot of offense. Shaking and baking. And the extra point. As flags have been thrown onto the field. We have a dead ball foul. Ball start on the offense prior to the snap, movement in the offensive line, five yard penalty. This could be a problem here. This is almost like a field goal, Gus. This is not next well, point think, anymore. I think Wade Ritchie has the confidence. Second touchdown for Falk, who has 14 carries, 90 yards, and two touchdowns. Ritchie, ooh, almost got it. Let it go, and it's good. 4.28 to go. The junior from Cary Pro starting to take over. 24 to 21. 
1996, the mighty Arkansas Razorbacks, unbeaten and ranked number one, number two in the nation, faced the LSU Tigers in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. LSU led by running back Joe Labruzzo's two touchdowns, and they went on to stun Arkansas 14 to seven, snapping the Razorbacks 22 game win streak. LSU finished the season with a record of eight and three, winning their last three ball games. So a very nice tradition, 14 to seven that game. Well, you know what that was, Gus, was uh, the culmination, that win streak was the culmination of that championship team that Arkansas had back in 64. You know who was on that? Who was the that? owner of the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones. You got it. And LSU, they lead the series 26-14 with uh, two ties in the series. And right now, they're up 24-21, 4.28 to go in the second quarter of play. So Wade Ritchie kicking off from his own 35. High kick returnable for Stinson at the five-yard line. Stinson trying to run outside, turns it back up. Gets it over the 25, up to the 26-yard line. A return of 22 yards. Tonight, join your favorite skaters, E. Katarina Gordieva and Scott Hamilton for a CBS holiday presentation. Snowed in on ice. It'll melt your heart. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. And I know you have a daughter that likes skating. Absolutely. That, that Olympic coverage rolls around. My daughter will be sitting in front of the tube watching... CBS like you can't believe. She loves it. 4.14 to go. First down and 10 from the 27. For the Razorbacks as the crowd gets back into the game. Here at Tiger Stadium. Stinson and he's wrapped up. Will be lucky to get to the line of scrimmage. Charles Smith. The sophomore linebacker from New Orleans. There to greet him. Charles Smith. You know, growing up watching football, I always wanted to see a game in Baton Rouge because I grew up watching those great night games and the tradition. Tommy Casanova was a great safety here. Look at this place. 80,000 people just about every week, and Jerry DiNardo truly has brought back the magic. Second down and eight from the 29. Michael Snowden in motion. Sterner, middle screen. Stinson bounces off a tackle and is... Tattooed at the 34 by Anthony Booger McFarland. <laughs> and he likes to be called Booger. I asked him last year, I said, is it okay if I call you Booger on national television? He said, I wouldn't have it any other way. That's what Mama calls me. He's got a little sister named Catfish and an older sister named Treetop because she was a hoop player. <laughs> so it's Booger, Treetop, and Catfish. You got it. And he come with some creative parents. No question. My house they call you one of those names it's a fight <laughs> trips to the far side of the field one receiver to the near side sterner again looking lucas goes up makes the catch at the 45 yard line first down arkansas gain of 13. well they're having a lot of success one-on-one -on -one with chris cummings remember they've got the two deep 80 yard touchdown passes this time they put trips to the field weak side they come back now to lucas who has to reach back but already had created enough separation from cummings that even though the ball was thrown behind him he had time to make the play the difference in the arkansas team that i saw last year in little rock and the arkansas team that i'm looking at right now is sterner you can see the confidence of this young sophomore who played in nine games as a true freshman, and he says, now things are starting to become a lot clearer for me. Substitution. Here's Sterner going to the far side, incomplete. Ball intended for his fullback, Nathan Norman. Now the top ten, according to the Associated Press, the University of Michigan, 11-0. Now look at Nebraska here, though. They're only leading Colorado 10-3. Colorado needs a win to become bowl eligible. That would be their sixth win and probably put them in the Insight.com bowl. But right now, that, that conference does not have a sixth representative. UCLA could very well be in the Cotton Bowl. Florida headed to the Citrus. North Carolina, Gus, if I'm North Carolina, I'm probably not real happy. 10-1 and, and again, probably left out of the alliance. Second down and 10 from the 46-yard line. Short drop by Sterner. Fired, and 
it's behind Lucas, who was open yep. on the slant batter. Good read, bad pass. That time he threw behind them. He's saying, hey, that's a sophomore taking control. I like that. He's not real happy. It looked like he threw the ball behind him. It could have been a misread by the wide receiver also. Lucas is going to run a quick slant pattern, makes the move. The ball thrown behind. I'm not sure if Sterner was saying, hey, catch the football, or hey, you made a, you, you ran the wrong round. But I think he would have liked to have seen a better effort catching the football right there. Third down and 10 for the Hogs at their own 46. Out of the gun. Sterner over the middle, incomplete. Oh, man. A wide open Lucas Look was not looking for the football. Now, he was mad at him the last play. Look at him right, look at Sterner right now. A, it's a fiery kid right there. Lucas once again is open, this time over the middle. The ball is delivered, almost hits him in the helmet. Right there. He doesn't look in time. Sterner had two pretty good passes to Lucas in that series, both dropped. He brings on Matt Wade, who's averaging 41 yards per punt. Against Mississippi State last week, he averaged 48 yards. And he is standing at his own 31. Kevin Falk back at his own 10. High, wobbly kick. Falk will let it go into the end zone for a touchback. LSU will start at their own 20. Let's flash back to 1993. LSU and Arkansas battled in Baton Rouge, providing fans with plenty of offensive fireworks. The two teams combined for 842 yards as three Razorbacks rush for over 100 yards and leading Arkansas to a 42-24 victory. And the Arkansas Razorbacks finished the season 6-4-1, marking its first winning season since 89 and Danny Ford's first season as Arkansas's head coach. Hey, Danny Ford's only two years removed from the surprising Western Division Championship in 1995. So this is not like a guy that's had five consecutive losing seasons or anything like that. Falk again over the right side, up to the 20, make it the 21-yard line. And if there is a case for him to keep his job, it would be because you see his team starting to mature, especially at quarterback. But when you look at the roster, a lot of young kids. He's got a redshirt freshman at left tackle. He's, he's only got one senior in the whole starting offense. I mean, the whole offensive line is back. Anthony Eubanks is the only senior in that lineup. So if you're Frank Royals, you've got to sit back there and say, hey, Danny Ford has gotten us to a certain position. Are we going to be better off in the future with another guy, or should we take this young team and let him take advantage of it next year? All three linebackers are either freshmen or sophomores. There's Falk cutting it back. Falk tackled at the 25-yard line. Jeremy Flowers <laughs> sticking his nose in there, and the fans here at LSU starting to boo a little bit. Yeah, and that wasn't for Booty. Okay, that wasn't because Abram Booty did anything. That's because that man right there is running the football, and you can tell the raging Cajuns down here want him to throw the football. And speaking of Booty, Josh Booty, who is playing in the Florida Marlins organization, the brother of Abram, they said that he was the best quarterback in high school that they saw on film ever. Yeah. Many of the coaches said that yesterday. Third down and five from the 25. On the ground again, Falk. Jitterbugging up to the 30, make it to 31. As he is gang tackled, Geno Bell with first contact, a gain of seven. One of the best jobs of linebacking today was by the, uh, the referee right in the middle of the field. So Falk, 102 yards rushing in the first half on 17 carries and two touchdowns. Watch him right here. He does a great job taking on the block. He's looking for the ball carrier. Brings Falk down. Good job by our ref. Play action. Tyler setting up. Going for the home run. Looking for Booty on the sidelines. Incomplete. Good coverage by the secondary for Arkansas. Zach Painter running stride for stride, and that will be the end of the first half of play as LSU heads into the locker room at home, leading it 24 to 21. And that was a role reversal that time. Painter had to become the receiver, and then on the other hand, Booty had to knock the pass down so it wouldn't be intercepted. So the big story for the Razorbacks, two 80-yard touchdowns by Anthony Lucas and Anthony Eubanks to keep them in this game, but Kevin Falk and Rondell Mealy each running the football extremely well. Let's go downstairs to Gary Apple.
Okay, with Coach Donardo, I know you wanted to put pressure on the quarterback, but they beat you for two big plays. What happened, Jerry? Well, they made two good plays. We were in man coverage once and zone coverage all the time, and uh, they had a good play called against it, and they, they executed better than we did. You had the week off. Were you a bit rusty to start? Oh, I don't think so. I think we've had a good week off, and we knew it was going to be a 60-minute game. We just have to play good the second half. And adjustments at halftime? Sure, there always is. I'll get with the coaches and find out what they're going to be. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, that's the end of the first half with the score. The LSU Tigers leading Arkansas 24-21. Don't forget, coming up, Jim Nance, Craig James, and Lou Holtz will be along with college football today right after this word from your local station. The Olympic Winter Games return to CBS. Share a moment with the world. Once upon a time, there was a holiday treat that had caramel topping and was delicious to eat. It was the Cajun Kringle made fresh every day with pecans, praline filling, the Haydell's Bakery way. So come to Haydell's this holiday season. Buy a Cajun Kringle, whatever the reason. Give them as presents at work and to friends. We ship to your clients in one day we will send. Call Haydell's at 8370190 or out of town 800-442-1342 and order or send a Cajun Kringle today. I hate dings in the door. I have this one terrible one. Uh, some fool comes along out of the grocery store and just bangs right in the side. And then, of course, he's looking around. Nobody else can see him but me. He's banged, and I have this huge dent. But my owner can't always get to him, you know, right away to get him fixed. But I think she tries to make up for it. She gives me Chevron Supreme with Teclon because I'm a car designed for high-octane gas. No premium outperforms Chevron Supreme with Teclon. Chevron. Simply smarter. It's the holiday season time, and Bone Ford is having its big warehouse sale. Every vehicle will be drastically reduced. And the price is right. For just $22,995, get the Explorer. It's a great buy. And just $16,995, get the Super Cab. Or the Contour, just $12,995. So, before you buy a car, truck, or van, where are you going to go? Ford in New Orleans, the big, easy car buying place. Spectacular holiday savings store-wide. Now at Universal Furniture. You'll find something for everyone in our electronics and appliance department. Whirlpool Microwaves, 138. VCRs, 138. Stereo with CD player, 298. Save 50% and more on leather from Natuzzi, Palliser, and Millennium. Buy now and get a free holiday turkey as Universal's gift to you. Whether you're uptown, downtown, East Bank, or West Bank, you'll find spectacular savings with no down payment, no payment till May at your store for the holidays. Universal Furniture. Watch fourth down on four with Mike Hawks Sunday. College football today, Ford Division halftime report is sponsored by Ford Division. And welcome to the College Football Today Ford Halftime Report. Jim Nance in New York, LSU behind Kevin Fox, 102 yards and two touchdowns, leading at halftime. My pals are here, Craig and Lou. And gentlemen, the backyard brawl, the other game on CBS, Pittsburgh and West Virginia. And look at the Panthers trying to become bowl eligible with a victory here today, Craig. Yeah, and they thought they were going to have to brawl with a guy named Famous, Famous Zeraway. And Zeraway is the guy who's going to keep West Virginia in this ball game. This one here going around right side, six-yard touchdown on second goal. But yet, Walt Harris has done a great job of getting his quarterback. This guy has played exceptionally well this year. Pete Gonzalez leads the Big East in passing yards, finds Jake Holford, touchdown, and Pittsburgh is a good second half team. West Virginia got a tough call coming up. By the way, Zeraway only 44 yards on the ground. He's second in the nation in rushing. Nebraska, number two in the nation in the polls, undefeated, leading by only seven at Folsom Field against the Buffaloes. And what about this game, Lou? Well, Colorado really has a fine football team, but when you lose three or four games in a row and you expect to be a national contender, you have a tendency to go in the tank, and then it takes a challenge like Nebraska to bring them all together. And let's remember, Colorado has played the most difficult schedule in the history of their school. Their opponents have won 68% of their games. Well, the Texas Longhorns went in the tank with that UCLA game back in September, never recovered. They close out their season, a 4-7 and seven record. They play today in the torrential downpour against their arch rivals, the Aggies. And what about this one, Craig? Well, Ricky Williams leads the country in rushing. So in a rain like storm like this, you'd think you'd have an advantage there. 7-0 Longhorns. But the Aggies can run the football, too. Sir Parker answers it 7-6, the Aggies. And as the rain continues,
continued. They continued to give the football to Sir Parker, his second touchdown on the ground for the day. The Aggies, too much offense, just enough defense win the game 27-16. Aggies 9-2 will play Nebraska next week for the Big 12 championship. And we've mentioned Texas 4-7. and seven. They head the class as we review the season. Our disappointments, the Big 12 featured both Texas and Oklahoma and Colorado. If it loses today, Lou, you have to throw them in there as well. Well, you do. Uh, many teams would look and say Stanford and Michigan State and say, why are they a disappointment? Because earlier in the year, they were in the top 15 of the country. They are like 5 and then all of a sudden they lost four out of their last five. So I know they're disappointed with the way their season ended up. Yeah, and one of the guys said, throw us to the preserve. We're drowning out here. <laughs> but to also throw USC in there. John Robinson thought he'd have a lot better team. Maybe eight, nine wins this year. Well, let's flip it around talking about some of the positives this year. Michigan, of course, going undefeated. No one forecast that. They're playing for the national championship now, headed to the Rose Bowl. What about that? Uh, you, to me, I look at this thing and I say, Purdue, this ball club, 8-3, and three, a new coach, Joe Tiller, great offense. I'm the most impressed with Purdue and the way they performed this year. I mean, that's outstanding. Well, you did. didn't coach against Purdue last year. They had pretty good athletes come back. Tiller's done a great job. I think UCLA's done a tremendous job. But let's remember this. UCLA, in the coaching profession, never used to be real physical. They started playing physical, and they may be the best team in the country. What made them start to play physical? Could you give an well, assist to anyone? Yeah, Washington State players came out and said, oh, we knew they weren't going to make it on fourth and one. They aren't tough, and all of a sudden their practice has changed. Why. I'll give you an example. Skip Hicks running the football, taking it to the defense. That sets the tone for a football team. When the running back will take it to somebody, that'll set the tempo. All right, guys. When we come back, Peyton Manning in his own words. Peyton Manning will be on CBS tomorrow against Vanderbilt. We'll continue with college football today in just a moment. Says, lie down, rest. But the boss says, Hustle, sale starts in 10 minutes. Yeah, sure. That does nothing for cause. My motto is, NyQuil for night, DayQuil for day. I'll share with you. I'll be fine. If you love the complete relief of NyQuil, you'll love its non-drowsy daytime version called DayQuil. <coughs> I was willing to share. Vicks DayQuil, the non-drowsy, stuffy head, sore throat, coughing fever so you can get through your day medicine. brushing your teeth. Is this a trick question? We can't just clean the front of things. Why not? That's all you see. The dentist told mommy problems can start where we can't see. Introducing the Crest Multi-Clean Toothbrush. It not only cleans deep between teeth, its cup-shaped design surrounds and helps clean all around every tooth, even some places you can't see. Mom, you don't miss a thing. New Crest Multi-Clean. Fits between to get teeth clean. Everybody knows the old rules of photography. I hope that's the right film for direct sunlight. But new Kodak Gold Max breaks them all. Using the same film in here? Why not? New Kodak Gold Max makes just about any light the right light. And now, the cha-cha. And that shot will never come out. Of course it will. And all in the same roll of film. So ignore the rules. Too dark! Just remember, if this film isn't in your camera, imagine the pictures you'd miss. New Kodak Gold Max. Everything at the University of Arkansas is all for learning. It's being on your own. And studying, they weren't kidding. Finding the cultures of the world all around you. And making friends. Exploring the world. Even learning to like cappuccino. Sharing special moments. Like calling the heart. Pushing yourself to the limit. Knowing your professors. Know who you are. The sky's the limit. Once you visit the University of Arkansas, you're hooked. A lost baby brings the true meaning of Christmas to a top Texas ranger in the Old West. Let's just say I've got the Christmas spirit. A special holiday walker, CBS Saturday. The College Football Today Ford Division Halftime Report is sponsored by Ford Division. 
And welcome back to College Football Today. Four Division Halftime Report. Be sure to join us tomorrow at noon for a NASDAQ College Football doubleheader here on CBS. Game one featuring Vanderbilt against the third-ranked Tennessee Volunteers. While the second game will have 16th-ranked Syracuse taking on the Miami Hurricanes in a game with Big East title ramifications. First, he gave us the news. He'll be back for his senior season. And in all likelihood, he will receive the Heisman Trophy. It's a story of promises fulfilled and a legacy continued. The story is Peyton Manning's. Our symbols of excellence and enduring values can take many forms. A trophy, a flag, even a young man. Peyton Manning has become synonymous with excellence, but he never played football to become a symbol or to win one. Something about it here in the South, I think, just, just growing up, you, can, you know when you get up in the morning, you know it's college football uh, in the South, and it's just something about the kind of the smell. I think uh, it's just special. And, and the, as, as, you, as you get there early, you just, it's building and building closer and closer. That's what's so exciting about it because it just sort of teases you. And then when, get, when the game finally gets there, you're just at a total climax, and you, you go out there and play. And you're just on cloud nine the whole time. The legacy of the legendary Manning name was never a burden for Peyton but the source of his values and humility. The family embodies Southern understatement, deflecting praise, respecting privacy, while maintaining their own. And as Peyton plays, he knows his two brothers, his mother and his dad, are somewhere in the stadium for him. It really makes you a better person, I think. Uh, I've sort of grown up around that, being the son of a famous quarterback there in New Orleans. So I've always felt like people were watching me. Hey, what's Archie's kid doing? Who's he hanging around with? Maybe even hoping that I mess up. So it's always made me and my brothers kind of do things a step slower, think twice before making a decision, try to hang around the right kind of people, and just try to be the right kind of person off the field. And that's really helped my life, I think. He's become part of the soil of the South as had his father, scrambling on the same grass, firing spirals against the same skies, barking signals above the same deafening roars of the same crowds, all the while making his own name for himself. My entire four years here have been just one great moment, I think. It's always, it always was something I'll remember throughout my entire life, but I think just just playing with these teammates, playing with these great group of guys, spending time with my family. That's why I came back, to enjoy those memories one more year. I thought, I had a great three years, why am I going to turn that, turn that away one more year? I'm going to come back and enjoy it, and, and I, I'm glad I did it, and it's been just, just a special experience for me. You know, you hold that Heisman ballot in your hand, and you have to wonder, what would Tennessee's record be without Peyton Manning. The Volunteers 9-1 and one going into the Vanderbilt game. What do you think about that, Lou? I, I think they probably would have won maybe eight or nine games because their program was so strong overall. I don't think that it won by such an impressive number as they did. And you look at Peyton Manning's statistics, you've got to be impressive. Now, on the other hand, I don't think Washington State would have won four games without Ryan Leaf. And I also believe the best college football player is Charles Woodson, at Michigan. So I know you have a vote. Who are you going to vote for? Who, who will get number one for you? I already voted, and I voted for Peyton Manning because I think he has done more for college football than any other player. And to me, that was a criteria I used, and I think he deserves it. He got my vote, too, Craig. Did you make it unanimous? Trio. All three of us vote for the guy. You know, last week I was at the Florida State Florida game, and up in the press box watching Charles Woodson play, all the national writers were there talking about Woodson. Boy, look at him. He was given another chance, and he did it. He performed every time he's been given the opportunity. That's why he's being mentioned for the Heisman Trophy. But guess what? So did Peyton Manning. Every time Peyton Manning walked on the football field, he performed with excellence. He never faltered. And he had great expectations. Tons of pressure on Peyton Manning to perform this year. And he did it, and he did it with quality. And I admire the guy. He earned the Heisman Trophy you this year. You do have to admire his genuine yes. passion for college football. We'll see him tomorrow in his last home game for the Tennessee Volunteers. College football today will continue on CBS in just a moment. In 1984, two computer scientists envisioned the impossible, a seamless network of computer networks. They invented the router. Cisco Systems was born. Out of Cisco came internetworking, and now directing millions of messages a day. Their equipment makes the internet possible. 
Cisco will be there as web users soar to 200 million by the year 2000. Where do you learn about companies so integrated into the future? Exactly. Nasdaq.com. 12-hour days. Endless nights. No weekends to call their own. This is the stuff young lions are made of. And no headache will limit their imagination. Because this is the Advil generation. The advanced medicine of Advil is freedom from headaches just like that. Headaches to muscle aches. Advil relieves all kinds of pain. Advil simply lets people do what they love to do. Be active, be cool, but beware. Use an ordinary stick antiperspirant, you get flaky white stuff. Until now, Gillette introduces Clear Stick. It's clear, so it can't leave a white residue. And it glides on smooth and dry for maximum strength stick protection. No stick protects you better against odor and wetness. So don't get the white stuff. Get the clear advantage. Gillette Clear Stick. Or try cool, refreshing clear gel. Friday! Friday! See the new dirt hitting board Ranger! Take on the road! 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 See its four liter V6! Take no prisoner! See its switch on four wheel drive! Drive! Go where others care to tread! Friday! Friday! The new Ford Ranger! Whoa! That was cool! Yeah, so what are we gonna do tomorrow? The new redesigned Ford Ranger, the only compact pickup built Ford tough. LSU is just the community, it is. Everyone that you could ever imagine around here loves LSU and wants you to love it too. The first football game I went to as a student, it was just like at that point LSU was the place for me. There's so much energy, excitement, fun, opportunities. If you just give and you get involved, LSU will keep giving, and it'll always be a part of you. LSU is the greatest place in the world, as far as I'm concerned. It's absolutely everything I ever wanted in the college. Every four years, the mountains come alive, and we experience something magical. The world's greatest athletes produce memories that last a lifetime. And soon, a new generation of Olympians will shatter records and scale new heights in pursuit of their dreams. The Olympic Winter Games return to CBS. In the first half, Kevin Falk, two touchdowns on 102 yards rushing, but two 80-yard scores from Arkansas, and the Arkansas Razorbacks trail LSU 24-21. CBS Sports coverage of NASDAQ College football will continue after this message. Gentlemen, I'm going to read you your rights. You had the right to be strong, to be healthy, to shine, the right to make your own choices. And when it comes to your hair, you have the right to choose Pantene Pro-V. The pro-vitamin formula gets in there, penetrating root to tip, improving it all. It helps keep your hair healthy, shiny, strong. Pantene Pro-V, for hair so healthy, it shines. It's the right stuff. Hello? Hey! Stephanie's the new girl. We can teach you. Never eat in the dining hall except, except for, for breakfast. breakfast. And you want pizza, you can make Trishka pizza. Sauce, cheese, pepperoni. Trishka pizza. I could smell these all the way down the hall. You feel like nachos. Nachos? Crunchy nachos with the cheese all melted in the nooks and crannies. This is like study food. I think she's going to do OK. Trishka, open a box, make up a snack. Unexpected holiday guests, don't forget the Trishka Ritz and Wheat Thins. It doesn't matter if you work for a big company or a startup. Whether you work for yourself or to help others. Fidelity has a way to help you prepare for the day when you won't need to work at all. Whether you're changing jobs. Or happy where you are. Retired. Or just starting out. More people trust their retirement plans to Fidelity than any other company. It's your retirement. It's our job to help you make the most of it. I had no idea of playing baseball for a living because all the people I saw playing was white. 
That's Oscar Charleston. Okay, put Oscar in his column. All right. Now you have a baseball card. People want to know the history of Negro League Baseball. This should be passed on. I would sell baseball cards over the internet. Mm, huh? You could. Who would have heard of the internet? The whole world would be able to see and hear what I'm saying. That's progress. For nonstop college football, breaking news, scores, highlights, and complete stats for all Division 1A teams, get it on the net at cbs.sportsline.com. 24-21 as we begin the second half of play from Death Valley here in Baton Rouge. Gus Johnson along with Mike Mayock. Really impressive first half for Arkansas. Well, if you're an offensive coordinator, it was an impressive first half. But I guarantee you both defensive coordinators probably didn't give their players a lot of fun at halftime today. But for LSU, they've still been able to run the football. LSU's run the football effectively. Arkansas has thrown the football extremely well. Arkansas will go on offense to begin the second half. Stinson, seven yards in his own end zone. He takes a knee. Moments ago, our Gary Apple had a chance to speak with Danny Ford of Arkansas. Okay. Coach, you struggled through much of the middle part of the season, but three weeks in a row now, good play. You're only down by three. What's the difference? Well, the kids are really laying on the line, but we, we're having a hard time stopping them. They uh, can't stop them right now. now. We're not going to win the football game unless we stop them or, or unless that rain comes heavy in a hurry and when, if we get back ahead. But, but our, our kids are playing hard. We just we haven't been at We got too many people on defense not doing their job and trying to do too much. But we get, we, you know, they've hurt us right now, but our kids are responding. They had the, the two big bombs for 80 yards. They should be aware of it. Will you try it again? Well, we ought to be able to throw anything we got now because they ought to be scared of that. Danny, thanks. All right, Arkansas on first down, another big gain. This time it's Stinson over the 30-yard line as he gains 12 yards. The fact that they're able to throw the ball so effectively will open up the run game in the second half for Stinson, I believe. But I like what Danny Ford just said. Hey, we threw the ball so well in the first half deep, it ought to open up everything underneath. Stinson in the first half, nine carries, 31 yards for Arkansas. He's a redshirt freshman from Pine Bluff. First down and 10 from the 32-yard line for the Razorbacks. Eubanks the motion man. Stenson. And he'll be lucky to get a yard. Now the statistics from the first half of play, and look at the rushing yards for LSU and the passing yards for Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, the juxtaposition's pretty easy there. There's the ball game right there. And the other thing, and it's not up there on the graphics, but what I noticed, there are absolutely no turnovers in the first half. And once again, time of possession really doesn't mean a whole lot as long as you're effective when you have the football. Razorbacks, their first drive of the second half. Second down and nine from their own 33. Sterner, underneath, complete. Al Herringer, the tight end, with the catch over the 35-yard line, up to the 37. Joe Wesley, the linebacker, with the hit. Now, Herringer is an interesting story. He broke his leg last year, missed the entire spring, ended up losing his job to Joe Dean Davenport. But the coaches have said that finally he's getting back into the form now and he's being a little bit more productive, not just on the run game, but the pass game. A junior from Jonesboro, Arkansas, came into this game with nine receptions. Third down and three from the 39. Sterner out of the gun. Underneath, and it's caught. Anthony Lucas, great catch by... Lucas as Sterner put that ball on a line once again, gain of 15 yards. And that's the difference in Sterner this year. Quick drop through the ball on time to the quick, the deep end. Here's the drop. One, two, three, four, five, and he, no hesitation, delivers the ball in between the corner and the safety. And just an excellent job by Lucas. Now, Mike, what's the difference between the five and the seven-step drop? Seven-step drop puts more pressure on your tackles. And if your tackles are inexperienced like Arkansas, it means it puts more pressure on your quarterback. Three and five-step, you're getting rid of the ball more quickly. He knows he's not going to get hit. We'll start her again. He'll let it go incomplete. Eubanks had a step on Chris Cummings, but he's overthrown. Big year this year for the SEC. They've got seven bowl-eligible teams. The SEC champion, as we all know, which should be 
the winner of the Tennessee Auburn game, assuming Tennessee beats Vandy tomorrow, will go to the Bowl Alliance. The number two pick, assuming it doesn't go to the Alliance, and I don't think they will, will go to the Citrus, probably Florida. Play the number two team from the Big Ten. The number three team, Outback, will be the number three team also from the Big Ten. Second down at 10 from the 47 for Arkansas. Trying to spoil LSU's bowl chances. Incomplete, Clarence LeBlanc, a sophomore from River Ridge, Louisiana, breaking up the pass, and LeBlanc, who is listed as a secondary player, a safety, really is a linebacker. He's 6'3", 200 pounds, but his coaches say, hey, don't tell him that he's a linebacker. He thinks he's a nickelback, but at 6'3", 200, he's actually our third linebacker. Yeah, Carl Reese, the defensive coordinator, said if you call him a linebacker on national television, he might not show up for practice next week. <laughs> third down at 10 from the 47. Out of the shotgun, Sterner. Trying to set up a screen, double flushed it and got rid of it wisely. Ball intended for Rod Stinson, but a lot of pressure on Sterner. Mixon there to lead the charge for LSU. Arkansas will punt as Matt Wade comes onto the field. Two punts, averaging 45 yards with a 54-yard long. And Kevin Falk, back deep, standing at his own 10. High spiraling kick. Falk trying to let it go into the end zone, and it takes the Arkansas punch. But the special teams unable to hold on, and Wake ducks his head as the ball gets into the end zone. David Barrett had the play, but he didn't control the football. You've got to have possession, and Barrett, look at him. That's why he's a defensive back and not a wide receiver. Your kids give you plenty to worry about. Your car shouldn't. That's why you need a Chevy Lumina. It'll go up to 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. So get a Lumina and relax. They'll grow out of it. You did, didn't you? And check out Lumina's resale value. Where is thought? Does thought improve if it's altered by another human's perspective? Is thought better if it is shared with many people? If thought is on paper, does thought become more real? Does thought then have a life of its own? Where is thought if it never leaves the thinker? Image Anywhere from Canon, the new paradigm for the digital workplace. To test their latest Parker, mother Gert Boyle and son Tim head for the mountains. Columbia Sportswear. Oh. The United States doesn't exist! No law. You are nothing but a drifter who found a bag of mail. No future. I challenge the leadership of the clan! No way they're going to stop a man from fighting to bring a nation together. You want a war? From the Academy Award-winning director of Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner. Did you hear me? Postman! I said run! The Postman starts Thursday, December 25th. Last year, the LSU Tigers marched into Fayetteville and beat the Razorbacks 17-7. Running back Kevin Falk rushed for 125 yards, one touchdown, his seventh 100-yard game of the season, while quarterback Herb Tyler passed for 191 yards and one touchdown, a 35-yard and a wide receiver, Larry Foster. With the win, the Tigers earned a share of the SEC Western Division crown with Alabama.
And Jerry DiNardo, when we spoke with him, Mike, talked about last year and this year. He said, hey, we went 10-2 last year, had great chemistry, but lost to Alabama and Florida. This year we beat Alabama and Florida, but the chemistry's not there. Yeah, we had an interesting talk. He was on the 73 Notre Dame National Championship team, a coach for 1990 for Colorado's National Championship team. And the chemistry thing is an interesting discussion. Here's Falk. Changing directions over the 25, up to the 23. Jeremy Flowers, the sophomore from Arlington, Texas, with the shoestring tackle. Jerry DiNardo, as you mentioned, on that 73 national championship Notre Dame team, but the year before and the year after, they also had a chance to win national championships, but the chemistry wasn't there. He said his senior class, they won the national championship as juniors. As seniors, he said they did a poor job of leadership, which is an interesting comment from the head coach. Play action fake, Tyler winds up, finds Booty, who steps out of bounds at the 37. A 14-yard gain for the true freshman from Shreveport. Booty is making a living, running the defensive back Moss off and then coming back. At this point, he even gets Moss to fall down. Watch, he's gonna sell the deep cut. Now the out cut, Moss falls down. Booty is an incredibly productive receiver. He's gotten better and better in his true freshman season. Five catches, 63 yards in the first half of play. Now has six catches for 78 overall. I'll bet his brother Josh, sitting up in the stands, wishes he could come out and throw a few to him. He's out there pitching it to him. Tyler again, play fake, steps up, going for the home run ball. He's got a receiver, and it's Foster who drops it. cleanly beat Campbell and the ball was delivered as well as you can throw a football and he against the defense 15 yard penalty from the previous spot automatic first down I think we're gonna have a roughing the passer I didn't catch the beginning of that but that was a great pass by Tyler watch him separate away from Campbell little hitch right there now he goes to the post He's separated by three yards. Look where the football comes. You can't do it any better than that. And now here comes the late hit on Tyler. The ball's delivered. You gotta let him go. And there's the hit by Bradley. No question about the call. Melvin Bradley made a big mistake. And Gus, that's as good as a turnover. Right there. It's a 15 yards and an automatic first down. Foster lipping off the field. He's being tended to by the LSU training staff. But his pride may be bruised a little more than his leg. <laughs> you don't want to go back. There's nowhere to hide after dropping that one. Especially in front of 80,000 fans. Tyler again, looking backside. Booty trying to turn it up. And is wrapped up at the 40-yard line, making the 39. Andrea Moss, a sophomore from Lexa, Arkansas, with the tackle. Today's NASDAQ Scholar Athlete of the Game is Adam Perry of LSU. NASDAQ's commitment to the investment in our future is shown today by donating $1,000 to the Louisiana State University General Scholarship Fund, a 3.35 grade point average in kinesiology. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me what kinesiology is. You know better than I do. Here's Falk again, stutter stepping to the 35. Study of the human body and the flow therein. There you go, that Boston College education. You bought it, huh? <laughs> so Falk picking up a first down. 24 to 21, 1034 to go in the third quarter. LSU leading it 24-21. The first half, a half filled with big plays. Two by Arkansas, 80-yard touchdowns by Anthony Eubanks and Anthony Lucas, but Kevin Falk running the football at 102 yards in the first half. The bootleg again, incomplete, intended for Nemesis Bates. Now, if you're LSU, where do you want to run the football? Well, you've got an All-American on the right side in Fanica. So middle to right is where I want to run it. Look at that. 28 out of 34 attempts are going towards Fanica. No question, if you're the LSU offensive coordinator and staff, Morris Watts, you want to get in behind the big fellow and Gus, he's only a junior. Only a junior. First team All-American finalist for the Outland Trophy, one of three. Second down and long. The pitch fought. He's going to throw it back. Looking for Tyler. Under throw, and Tyler had to scoop it up off the turf. 
As Kanoe Kennedy standing right there on the play. <laughs> and that is a scary play. That's often a big play for the offense, but a throwback against the green, that can kill you sometimes. Okay, the flow comes front side. Tyler plays possum, and now he's going to throw it all the way back. That's where if somebody's got his hands up like Carver, he can catch the football and go the other way. It's a dangerous, dangerous play to throw it back in the flat like that. Ball on the 34-yard line of Arkansas for Louisiana State. Out of the gun. Tyler. And it's broken up. Good play by Marcus Campbell. The ball was overthrown, intended for Booty. That's his ninth, make it tenth, the breakup of the year. Campbell, a senior from North Little Rock. It's about time somebody challenged Booty on the short to intermediate route. And that's exactly what Campbell did. Pushed him, shoved him, but kept the ball from being a completed pass. Chad Kessler now in the is, punt. Now, this is Witten, the pooch punt specialist. And he'll stand at his own 49. Almost got away from him. Into the end zone. 9.55 to go in the third, 24-21 LSU. Isn't that a pretty sight? So how many miles? 50? 90. 90? 90,000 90, miles. Jeez, that's just getting broke in for Chevy. Is that a scratch? Scratches give character. The best long-term quality of any full-size pickup belongs to Chevy. Women like character. Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Oof, what'd you step in? Right now, Zales has 12 months interest-free on beautiful jewelry, like this stunning diamond solitaire necklace or diamond earrings. Your choice, just $7.99. And through Sunday, get 12 months interest-free at Zales. Let's see. It says here you're uh, lazy, highly unmotivated. You have a problem with authority. Yeah, I've got two references to prove that. Well... The only thing I can say is, you the man! You the man! For the great man. taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Technically, I can't give you a raise yet. You're right, policy, schmalsy. <laughs> Do I hear 2,000 for a date with supermodel Jennifer? Is your dandruff sending the wrong signal? Sold to number 10 for $2,000. Get Selsen Power. Doctors recommend Selsen Blue number one. So don't send the wrong signals. Get Selsen Power. NASDAQ College Football on CBS is sponsored by Nissan, who reminds you that life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Wrangler. Real, comfortable jeans. And by Campbell's Chunky. Soup that eats like a meal. 24-21. Here's our Gary Apple. Okay, guys, Larry Foster limped off a few moments ago. I just spoke with the trainer, Jack Marucci. He told me he has a sprained foot. They've taped him up, and they're hoping to get him back in there in just a couple of minutes. Gus, Mike. All right, Gary, Larry Foster leads the team in receptions on the season with 40, a sophomore. Harvey, Louisiana. One of the hardest workers on this team, as coaches say. You have to pull him off the practice field and pour him on the team bus. 24-21, Arkansas with the ball for the sixth time on their 20. Way action fake. Sterner standing strong in the pocket, and it's knocked down in the secondary. Chris Beard got a hand on it, almost came up with an interception. Exactly what they were looking for out of that coverage, where Chris Beard hangs around in the middle of the field short, trying to bait the quarterback into throwing to the middle. Here's Beard right here. Hangs in the middle. It's called a robber coverage. One safety deep, one short. They get what they want, but that's where you got to make a play. Chris Beard gets a chance to make a play and drops the football. Arkansas's field position, seven possessions. They've started on their own 26 times. But two 80-yard touchdowns. Sterner again, incomplete, over the 30-yard line, intended for Anthony Eubanks. Don't forget, rivalry Saturday tomorrow on CBS Sports. NASDAQ College Football, Vandy at Tennessee. Tennessee, the number three team in the nation. Peyton Manning's final game 
and number 16 Syracuse trying to beat Miami for the first time. It's all coming up beginning at 12 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow on CBS Sports. You know, Gus, we've been focusing on Syracuse in that matchup, but Miami needs another win to become bowl eligible and fill the fourth slot in the Liberty Bowl for the Big East. Third down and long for Arkansas. Here's the screen. Stinson, he'll pick up the first down, broke it outside at the 35, trying to get around the corner at the 50, knocked out of bounds at the LSU 45-yard line by Cedric Donaldson. A gain of 34 for Rod Stinson, the freshman from Pine Bluff. And this has been a game of huge plays in the passing department for Arkansas. This time, Sterner does a nice job. He's going to wait. Watch Stinson here. Stinson fakes the block, standing right next to number 95 right there. He doesn't even see it. Johnny Mitchell, the cut. Rayon Hill loses contain, and then Cedric Donaldson's going to have to chase him out on the 45-yard line. At the 45, and looking at Stinson, he kind of reminds you of a Kurt Warner-type running back. Here's Stinson again, slashing through the hole over the 45, down to the 42. Here's Jim Nance in New York. Well, the Mountaineers' main man, Amos Zaraway, got cracking on the first drive of the second half. Looked like Barry Sanders as he takes it in for his second touchdown of the game, and they added a two-point try. It's a three-point lead, just as you have it there, Gus and Mike. All right, Jim, speaking of Barry Sanders, did you have a chance to watch him yesterday? Actually, Gus, I was preparing for oh, my game goodness. Today. Sensational. <laughs> He's pretty Sensational. special. Sensational. Wow. Second down and five from the 41 for the Razorbacks. Here's a counter play. They give it to the fullback, Nathan Norman. And Norman, the play struck out extremely well by LSU. Rayon Hill there to guide him out of bounds. Norman's only a sophomore, really a blocking back. He only has five carries on the entire season going into game number 11. So every now and then, Gus, they throw him a little bone, a little counter play. But how about that Pittsburgh team? We're talking about Amos Zaraway in West Virginia under Walt Harris to play Syracuse tough, losing the last 20 seconds two weeks ago. They've got a chance to have a winning season. Really impressed with that. Third down and two. Three receivers to the top of your screen. They get it out of the backfield. It's caught. But unable to hold his feet is Michael Snowden, who falls down short of the first down marker. And if he would have been able to stay on his feet, he would have picked it up easily. Yeah, this is a shame for Arkansas. You can see him in the flat. He runs it off. There's nobody anywhere near him. That's where you've got to be able to catch the football and keep your feet. The ball was thrown behind him, but you've got to be enough of an athlete to turn the hips, catch the football, and get the first down. And Sterner not very happy as he speaks with Kay Stevenson, his offensive coordinator on the sidelines. 24-21, Arkansas with a decision to make. Once a single library held the knowledge of the world. Centuries later, data was still controlled by an elite few. Then Oracle freed everyone to work with databases. Today, Oracle is putting the knowledge of the world online. It will forever change our markets and our culture. Where do you learn about companies whose future is as limitless as our hunger to know? Exactly. Nasdaq.com. Adrenaline's pumping. They light you up, and you go. We asked some of Hollywood's hottest stuntmen to switch antiperspirants and try degree. What's body heat activate? Probably means when you get warm, that it starts working. As your body heat rises, degree releases extra protection when you need it most. I, I heated up, and it cooled me down. I was on fire, and I was dry. I don't want my guys to see me sweat. This stuff kept up, even in 40-foot-high uh, fireballs. Dry as a baby. Body heat activated degree. Your body heat turns it on. Nothing to lose for Danny Ford and the Razorbacks. They're going for it on fourth down and two. You know they've got to gear up for run, but it wouldn't surprise me to see Kay Stevenson 
little play action, see if he can get somebody open underneath. Ball sitting at the 37 and a half yard line of LSU. Arkansas trailing 24-21, and here we go. Three wide receivers in the game, no tight end. To the sideline, and it is! Oh! Incomplete! It was a delayed catch. There, the other rep came in and said, that's right, he juggled it. He was emphatic. The head judge right there, though, was a little bit unsure about the call. Look at Danny Ford. <laughs> that is a huge call. Now, let's take a look. Anthony Lucas, the ball's delivered just to his outside. He's got to catch both feet are obviously in, but look at the football between his legs. Good call. The question is, did he have possession between his legs, Gus? Good call. I agree with you. I'm just teasing. Danny Ford's trying to say, look, he had it cradled in between his knees there. He had possession. First down at 10 from the 38-yard line as LSU takes over on downs. Falk met at the line of scrimmage. He'll get close to the 40-yard line. Melvin Bradley again. That Melvin Bradley's a good football player. But you have to be impressed with the way Danny Ford's team has come out here and played solidly today in unfamiliar surroundings. Hey, Gus, they beat Mississippi State, who was number 15 last week. They lose to Tennessee by eight the week before. They play Mississippi and Auburn tough the two prior weeks. This is the team coming on. Second down and eight from the 40-yard line, the reverse. And this is Foster back in the game over the 45-yard line. He'll be close to a first down at the 46, make it the 47. Zach Painter with the tackle, but a gain of seven yards for Foster. He'll limp off the field once again. Little reverse here. Look, he goes in motion, number 22, and then will turn around and come back. Almost the Statue of Liberty, but a reverse. Looked like they had a big play here. All of a sudden, good job by Arkansas keeping contained and allowing Zach Painter to make the tackle. But Foster's out of the game again. Today, 166 yards rushing for the LSU offense as opposed to 121 against Notre Dame. Don't forget, it's Ice Wars, the USA versus the world this evening. Nancy Kerrigan, Brian Boitano, Oksana Bayul, Katarina Vitt, Victor Petrenko, and Kurt Browning are among the superstars who'll team up in the long programs. That's all coming up tonight on CBS. Mike the Tiger. That's a enjoying this this football game. Reasonable facsimile, right? They got the real guy, Mike the Bengal Tiger, which is an awe-inspiring target as they took him around earlier today. LSU at midfield. Tyler in trouble in the pocket. Got it away and threw a frozen rope at the 40-yard line. Booty once again out of bounds with another great catch as he rubbed off the defensive back. Sooner or later, they're gonna squat on him. Now look, it's man-to-man -man coverage. Booty tries to get him to make him think he's going deep. The right arm pushes off, but what I like, look where the ball was delivered. Outside and low, the only place the defensive back boss can't get to it, and Booty can. Eight catches, 95 yards for Booty. Came to LSU because he thought his brother Josh would get out of his baseball commitment. Josh Booty, his brother, signed for $1.6 million with the Florida Marlins, wanted to give a million dollars back so he could come back to LSU and play quarterback. His brother thought he was going to be able to team up uh, with the older brother. That's not happening so far. It's pretty interesting. You can see the measurement there just short. But his brother, as you said, tried to give $900 million back. And think about it. After taxes, that million six, I don't know what it's worth. But just about, he was saying, you can have it all back. Right. Take it all back after taxes. I want to go play college football. But you know what the problem is? He hit 27 home he hit runs 27 in double A. In double A and plays third base. <laughs> so you know what that means. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. But you keep the money, son. But you'll be here, son. You're exactly. going to be here. That's right. Matter of fact, they put him on the 15-man protected list for the Florida Marlins as they have basically cleaned house after winning the World Series. All of their stars being traded away. He only hit about 220, but the 27 Taters as a third baseman need something different. Especially in double A, that's where all the live arms are. That's right. 
They picked up a little over nine on that, Gus. So we've got a second and short, and they're in their short yardage off them. They hand it. Will Tyler roll it out of the pocket. Got it away. just can't hold on from two, two offenses that were doing a great job in the first half all of a sudden it's almost a comedy of errors nobody can hold on to football so a lull in the action in the third quarter 6 16 to go 24 to 21 lsu leading arkansas last year they played in the beach bowl after going 10 and 2 they are trying to avoid an independence bowl berth with a loss today over the right side at the 40-yard line. J.J. Jones with the tackle on Falk. Yeah, he really cleaned up on that tackle. Enough for the first down, though. And I like the second down call. With second and a foot, they got their short yardage offense, ran play action, and came back to get it on third down. And look at Mike. <laughs> I don't know what is that an armadillo he's beating yeah. up? I don't a know razor what that is. That's a razor, razor bat. It didn't look like a razor bat. Pink one. Play fake. Herb Tyler into the end zone. Booty wide open. It's the play. Booty wide open in the end zone. And Herb Tyler can't believe he didn't put that ball on the money. Herb Tyler's also taken some shots from that defensive line, but Gus. You know that he's made so many intermediate cuts and sooner or later he just had to take a deep. Look at Moss trying to grab onto him. Moody is really a sneaky 4-5-40 four, guy. He's got two to three yards of separation and the ball's just overthrown. That's a true freshman with a great future here in Baton Rouge. He's got 12 catches. Check that Tyler, 12 of 19, 147 yards on the afternoon. Second down and long. Kevin Falk. He'll pick up close to nine. Quentin Caber, the true freshman out of Anniston, Alabama, with the hit. Talk about all purpose yards. That guy's as good as anybody in the country. Take a look at him. He's number one in the SEC. He's got 124 rushing yards, another 71. He's the first player to rush for. A thousand yards, two straight seasons since Dalton Hilliard did it in 84-85. The option for stutter step, stepped out of bounds. I believe it's a first down. We talked right up top in the first, early in the first quarter, what that option can do for your LSU offense, and it's been a very effective play today. First down for the Tigers. And a first down for LSU. Follow your favorite team all season long on CBS Sports Line. We've got scores, highlights, breaking news, and all kinds of in-depth information. And CBS Sports Line is your online source for stats on all 112 Division 1A teams. Also check out our key plays of the game. It's all at cbs.sportsline.com. First down and 10 from the 30-yard line for the Tigers marching down the field. Evan Falk cuts it back and is driven backwards, breaks the tackle, and gets out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Now that play should be stopped for no gain. Should absolutely be stopped for no gain. Zach Painter had a chance to one-on-one -on -one tackle, and that's why Falk is so good. He just makes people miss. There's Falk, nowhere to go. Three people right there. One, two, three. Come on, wrap the arms. Really good strength for a 190-pound guy, Gus. Not only is he elusive, but he can also break tackles because he's so strong from the waist down. Speaking of strong, could you imagine if Cecil the Diesel Collins and Falk were able to play with each other on a regular basis? 11th play of the drive for LSU. Tyler. Booty again. Turns it up. And it's tackled at the 15. Andrea Moss with the stop. Abram Booty is taking Andrea Moss to school. Bump and run again. Gets off the bump, no problem. Pushes away and comes back to the football. Booty's doing such a great job that Moss has no idea where he's going. And there's no way for the...
Arkansas secondary to jam them coming off the line of scrimmage as I don't they know, tried that? Gus, I don't even know why they're, they're not trying. They're playing press coverage, but they're not getting their hands on them. And that's the one thing a true freshman often has trouble doing at this level is getting off the bump at the line of scrimmage. Rondell Mealy now in the backfield, spinning at the 15. Mealy out of bounds at the 5. You think you're going to get a break when they take Falk out of the game, and here comes Rondell Bealy. Watch what happens with number 96 right here. He gets a great shot at him, the spin move, and it's all over. Bealy with a little bit of an offensive face mask, but that won't be called. That's just great strength. That guy could start for most teams in the country. So LSU in the red zone, three of three today with the ball. First down, goal to goal for the Arkansas five. Mealy. And he'll get to the two. Quentin Caver again with the tackle. And when they get in their short yardage, look what they do. They put their back right here, second back, and a third back. And this is their short yardage offense. Number 32, Cleveland. is going to lead Tommy Banks. And then again, here comes Mealy. So they're trying to get as many people to the point of attack as they possibly can. Gary DiNardo, 3.49 remaining. Trying to see his team march it in the end zone. Play fake for Tyler. Wide open touchdown. Kendall Cleveland for LSU. And he's another tailback. They have so many talented tailbacks, they often put him in at fullback. He's the short guy right behind the quarterback. He sneaks out. No one even sees him. He's kind of hidden behind Tyler. Play action. They bite on it. It's all over. Wade Ritchie into a 50 extra point. It's good. 3.41 to go in the third quarter. LSU, 31-21. A company most people never heard of is changing the way we fight cancer and kidney failure by inducing the body to produce blood cells. Chemotherapy and anemia patients are gaining new strength. Helping to grow blood cells helps Amgen become the world's largest biotech company. Where do you learn about companies with such pioneering spirit? Exactly. Nasdaq.com I'm Iron Head Hayward. I'm used to challenges. And I challenge you to try Zest Deodorant Body Wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But I ain't had orange body washes for ladies. Ow. Listen, chump. Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But I ain't had. What's with this thingy? That lather builder works with Zest Body Wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner. So you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest Body Wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get Zest fully clean. NASDAQ College Football on CBS is sponsored by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Selsun Blue, doctors recommend it number one for dandruff. Selsun Blue, and by the NASDAQ Stock Market. 14 play drive for LSU, covering 62 yards. A three-yard touchdown from Tyler to Kendall Cleveland. Tigers lead it 31-21, 3.41 to go in the third quarter. Wade Ritchie, line drive kick. And it will go out of the back of the end zone. Arkansas again from their own 20. Now this is where Arkansas needs to answer. There's been a separation now for the first time today. We have a lead over seven points for one of the two teams. Arkansas can't afford to let LSU separate. Razorbacks unable to get any kind of field position, always playing on the long field after giving up points at the 20-yard line for the seventh time today as Sterner trots back on. Eubank splits wide to the far side. Lucas to the near side. Sterner incomplete. Lucas had two hands on the football. Should have come up with the catch. It would have been a difficult one, but he could have done it. It's one he's made a couple of times already today. They've been running the quick hitch, and this is what they're going to do. Quick hitch. Now the go. 
and he's hoping to catch Donaldson on the bite. Donaldson does a good job before that ball is really high, Gus. I'm not sure uh, even David Thompson gets to that one. <laughs> the Skywalker. The Skywalker. Sterner, one of his last nine. Yeah, they're, they're just kind of a little out of sync right now in the second half, Gus. Second down and 10 from the 20. Another short drop underneath Lucas. He gets to the 28-yard line. Cedric Donaldson with the tackle. And Donaldson, number 27, is the number two man in the NCAA with seven interceptions. He needs one more to tie the school record held by Craig Burns. He had inside technique, but he let Lucas get it back from him to take the slant. And that's the most successful pattern Arkansas has had today. The timing route, five-step drop, slant route. He calls himself the cover guy. <laughs> Third down and two from the 28. Stenson looking for the first down, and he won't get it. Number 59, Kenny Mixon, coming up and making the tackle from his defensive end spot. Kenny Mixon plays their right side up top right here. Power play right at him. He beats one block. Keeps outside in rush. That's a great job. And Charlie Smith comes through to clean it up. Big, big play finally by the LSU defense. Kevin Fox standing at his 25. Matt Waite at his own 15. Arkansas better cover here. Everything's going LSU's way. This one off the side of the foot of Waite takes an Arkansas bounce. Falk will get away from it, and LSU will start from their own 21. A 49-yard punt by senior Matt Waite. Pittsburgh still trying to fight off West Virginia. Nebraska and Colorado. Texas A&M will play Nebraska in the Big 12 championship. And that'll be an interesting question, what the Cotton Bowl ends up doing. Because let's face it, it's FC's, excuse me, the Big 12 number two team, which could be Kansas State. Look at that, Louisville at the basketball. Kind of fooled us a little bit. We did the Louisville-Illinois game earlier this year. We, we were saying, wow, did they play twice? Here's Mealy. Over the 30-yard line, up to the 35. Kanoi Kennedy with the tackle, a gain of 11. But the point I was going to make about the Cotton Bowl is that if Kansas State does not get an alliance selection, then the Cotton Bowl has got to make a choice. Do we want a 10 and 1 Kansas State team, or do we want to go locally with Texas A&M, who just finished 9 and 2 by beating Texas today? Either choice will probably play against, I'm guessing, UCLA, the number two choice, as hot as anybody in the country from the Pac-10. UCLA ranked number seven in the coaches' poll. Number six in the AP. Healy again, spinning over the 35, up to the 36. And you know what, Gus? That's why I'm a big proponent now of a playoff system. LSU, they've played so well, UCLA. Look at this. Flags on the field at the King down eight, right? Probably going to be unsportsmanlike. And somebody may have been kicked and out of this ejected. game. Wow. I think it's D.J. Cooper. Heading off the field. They have a dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Arkansas. The player is ejected. First down. Well, D.J. Cooper, backup nose guard, left the field. Danny Ford, not only does he lose one of his players, but also a 15-yard penalty tacked on D.J. Cooper heading off the field. Four penalties today for the Razorbacks, 50 yards. LSU with the ball at midfield. They average 70 yards in penalties per game. Skinner, the motion man. There's a counter. Mealy following his blocks. He'll slide ahead. 
to the Arkansas 45. Caver chopping him down. And this is what they did, Mike, in the second quarter. They spelled Kevin Falk, gave Neely a chance to run the ball, then came back with Falk. All right, Cooper leaving the, not just the bench area. He's out for, for the day. Uh, but also, you're exactly right, Gus. They give him a break. And when you got a guy like Neely, man, you got to play him anyway. So it really works well for both players. Second down and six from the 46-yard line, LSU. Neely again, sidestepping one defender, put his head down, but will be ridden down. A gain of maybe one yard for Rondell Neely. Gino Bell, Tanoi Kennedy combining on the tackle for the Razorbacks. Talk. Kennedy and Harris. And that is the end of the third quarter with the score LSU leads Arkansas 31 to 21. We'll return to Tiger Stadium right after this message and a word from your local station. You're buying a car. You know exactly which cars you want and which cars you don't want. But there are still cars out there that you don't know that you do want. Recently, Oldsmobile has come out with so many new models, they might not be on your list yet. They should be. So before you buy, find out all you can. Come to Oldsmobile's 100th anniversary premiere and test one. Or call toll-free to find out. to go crazy. Dave's got the Late Show in the bag with the hilarious John Stewart, an abominable holiday treat, and some unwanted pests tonight. For college football action, the address is CBS. Welcome home. You're a 90s guy. You're sensitive, caring, Oakland Heart offers extraordinary jewelry at ordinary prices to say exactly how you feel. Because you might be a 90s guy, but you're still a guy. Oakland Heart, just what are you trying to say? Well, if I had money, I'd tell you what to do. I'd go downtown, buy a Ford truck or two. I'm crazy about a Ford truck. Lord, I'm crazy about a Ford truck. I'm gonna buy me a Ford truck and cruise it up and down the road. See your local Southern Quality Ford dealer now for $17.50 cash back or low 1.9 financing on America's best-selling compact pickup, the stylish and fun Ford Ranger. Check your paper now for this ad. It's stuffed with savings from the Campo Thanksgiving weekend sale, like the sharp 13-inch TV VCR combination. Was $299.95, get it at Campo for $239.95, a $60 savings. Or how about a GE VHS VCR with remote control and on-screen programming? Now only $129.95. Campo says thanks for 70 great years with big savings. But to get them, you gotta go to Campo. Real TV tonight at 11.35 on Channel 4. 31-21. We begin the fourth quarter of play from Death Valley, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, with the LSU Tigers trying to improve to 8-3 on the season, 6-2 in the SEC. This is a huge play here. Third about seven. Quarterback draw, Tyler, and he'll be short. Andy Garner, the redshirt freshman from Atlanta, Texas, with the tackle. And the fans here in Death Valley, they want him to go for it. <laughs> Denardo, though, is not going for that. He's going to take his pooch punter, Jeremy Witten, and try and pin them back inside the 10-yard line. He's playing percentages when he's up 10. Going back deep, Jeremy Flowers at the 10-yard line. 
And Winton standing at the 44. High snap. End over end kick. Flowers gets away from it. And it gets in the end zone. Took a bounce away from Fred Booker. He was unable to down it. 42 yard punt. Arkansas on offense after this. I got this car for me. But if anyone takes notice, that's okay too. Aurora, defy convention. And now you can lease the Aurora for just $3.99 a month. See your Oldsmobile retailer for details. And over each other. Uh, take these back. They're over hard. Try again. I think I liked you better smoking. He's quitting, cold turkey. Hey, I'm quitting myself. Can I suggest? Nicoderm CQ. Does that help? If it didn't, you'd be wearing these eggs. With a 24-hour stream of medicine, Nicoderm CQ calms even nasty cravings. It's the power to calm, the power to comfort, the power to quit successfully. You know what? I like you better not smoking. Okay, there we go. Who's on the line? My voice is my life. A sore throat? <laughs> death because I talk for a living on the air We're still I do talk still radio caller after caller after caller so when I get a sore throat <clears throat> I count on chloroceptic five sprays and its powerful ingredient delivers pain relief on contact pain relief that penetrates pain relief that's long-lasting it's a free country but oh please we got a live one Vix chloroceptic five sprays for instant relief that stays Tuesday. I'm in trouble. Can Danny Aiello keep a fashion designer from getting burned? This is a business mess. I keep out of it. Not a chance in hell. An all-new Della Ventura, CBS Tuesday. 31-21, 14-18 to go in the fourth quarter. Gary Apple, what do you have? All right, Gus, you know, normally teams at home wear their dark jerseys, but not LSU. Ever since Jerry DiNardo has come here, he has insisted his team wear white jerseys. The only time they haven't, a year ago, his former team, Vanderbilt, insisted that they wear the dark jerseys. And so what did LSU do? They blew them out 35-0. The moral here, don't mess with uh, LSU and the white jerseys at home. Gus, Mike? <laughs> the other moral is don't do that to DiNardo because what he did is instead of wearing their dark jerseys, he went out and got new gold jerseys patterned after their NCAA championship baseball team and wore it in the shutout of Vanderbilt. From the 20-yard line for Arkansas. Stinson spitting to the 25. Here's Jim Nance in New York. Now, Gus and Mike, you've seen him play this year. Pete Gonzalez, the quarterback from Pittsburgh. What a senior season. Now, 28 touchdown passes on the year. Three today, and Pittsburgh is surprising West Virginia as they start the fourth quarter. Back to Gus and Mike. All right, Jim, I had a chance to see him against Miami earlier this season in Pittsburgh, and uh, he's done a great job guiding that team, as Jim mentioned, this season. Especially for a fifth-year starter, a fifth-year player in the first year starting. Six. Chuck Wiley with the tackle. Don't forget, we've got a doubleheader for you tomorrow on CBS. Number three, Tennessee. Trying to keep their national championship hopes alive as they take on bitter rival Vanderbilt. Peyton Manning's final game against that tough Vanderbilt defense, which always gives it problems. And Syracuse trying to beat Miami for the first time ever. That game being played in South Florida. It all begins NASDAQ College football tomorrow at noon. Third down and four from the 26. Emmanuel Smith, the motion man. Sterner underneath, throws it behind Anthony Eubanks. And there is a flag on the play. Prior to the snap, dead ball foul, false start on the offense, movement in the offensive line, five-yard penalty, still third down. Actually a break for Danny Ford with the incomplete pass there. The penalty nullifies the play and gives him another shot at third down. This time will be nine, nine to ten yards. 
So Arkansas, they have come up with at least one big upset this season, knocking off Alabama. As they came from behind and went at 17 to 16, this would be another great feather in their cap this season. But they're down by 10. Third down and nine from the 21. Trips to the far side. Sterner looking that way. Delivers incomplete. Emmanuel Smith, the intended receiver, and the secondary for LSU, they have tightened things up in the second half. Yeah, Donaldson was all over Smith, and there was a very small window to be able to complete that pass and not have it intercepted. They had a very productive first half offensively, but here in the second half, take a look. Hunt lost it on down. Hunt all on the 20. Running away this time, Matt Wake, wobbly kick, fought at the 30. Wedge set up to his right. Fought down the sideline, he's got a blocker, but he steps out of bounds at the 44. And a big smile from <laughs> Kevin Falk. This is like being in your backyard. He thinks he might have it. Let's see what happens. He stays up. Let's see the next foot. He's in. He's in. And look, right there. He stepped out. That's a good call. Oh, oh, now. What are you thinking about out here? I don't know. I just don't think this perm looks natural. Perm? You think you've got problems? Take a look at these split ends. Men don't really talk about their hair, but they do want it under control. Pert Plus Shampoo has built-in conditioners to give you that control. So until guys want more... That's it. I'm bringing in Fisher. He's got those nice highlights. Take control with Pert Plus. Greg Lambert isn't too worried about how to invest for Zach's college education. That's because he works with a broker from Dean Witt. Together, they developed a long-term investment plan to help take Zach wherever he wants to go. Clients feel most comfortable with our ability to see things from their perspective. Now, when Craig looks into his son's eyes, he can see the future and smile. Dean Witter. We measure success one investor at a time. These two professionals are going to take this 1998 Cutlass for the most grueling test drive we could think of on an L.A. freeway. Well, with a CD player, easy-to-reach cup holders, leather-trimmed interior, and a powerful V6, this Cutlass passes quite nicely. The Oldsmobile Cutlass, totally rethought. NASDAQ College Football on CBS is sponsored by Oldsmobile and your local Oldsmobile retailers. Pert Plus, the shampoo that conditions too. For simply great hair, simply. And by MasterCard. There are some things in life money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. As you take a look at the survivors from yesterday, <laughs> that line provided by our producer, Bob Dekas. They survive for one more year. One more year. 31-21. <laughs> Red shirt turkeys. How about that? Thanks, Deke. 12-14 to go in the fourth quarter. LSU with the ball at their own 44-yard line. Kevin Falk tackle again and he'll get a yard maybe two wrapped up at the 45 yard line by Nathan Cole now LSU on their helmets they wear a patch with the initials DW that stands for David Watkins an offensive end redshirt freshman who underwent a heart transplant that he received in Florida well it was a very successful operation and he talked to the team prior to their Florida game, and they've dedicated their entire season to David Watkins, and there's a chance that he'll come back to school next year and resume his studies at LSU. Studying hard in the studio, Jim Nance. 
All right, Gus, I know you and your producer, Bob Dekas, will love this. Down in Puerto Rico, Matt Harpering at the end of the third quarter against St. John's Georgia Tech leading by nine with about five minutes to go. Season premiere next Saturday. Gus, I know you'll be there. Let's go back to Baton Rouge. No question about it. Georgia Tech, they have this freshman who's a great shot by. There's Hal Hunter, the offensive line coach for LSU. Herb Tyler. Booty again. And Booty has been everywhere today. 11-yard reception. True freshman from Shreveport. Wow. There has been no one that's been able to cover him yet. Booty's the outside receiver. Working on Chalmers. Chalmers trying to get a piece of him. He's just going to push off and catch the football. He's tough enough and big enough physically at 6 to about 190 pounds that he can handle that physical play. Ten catches, 116 yards, a season high. Falk on the counter again. Tackle from behind by Melvin Bradley, shy of the 35. Don't forget, college basketball beginning on CBS next Saturday. It's the season premiere. Kentucky and Indiana in Bloomington. Bobby Knight and Tony Smith, the new coach, replacing Rick Pitino at Kentucky. It will be next week in Indiana. Who do you like there, Gus? I like Kentucky. But you know, Coach Knight always has a team that plays hard, no matter who it's against. And a good defensive play by Arkansas at the 45-yard line. First sack of the game for the Razorbacks. Nathan Cole, Melvin Bradley also giving chase for Arkansas. It was a corner blitz. They actually brought their strong safety, Corey Nichols, off the edge. It was the perfect call against the play from LSU. You're going to see Nichols flash late. They've got a bootleg call from the right side of your screen. You're going to see number five flash. Perfect call by the defense to stop that play. Nothing at all for Herb Tyler. Third down and a long 14 for the Tigers from the 44. Tyler passing up on the sidelines. Booty again. Knocked away at the last moment. Andrea Moss, the sophomore from Lexa, Arkansas. Good defensive play. And I give him some credit. Booty. Booty has abused him all day, but he stayed in there. Look at him. It's bump and run coverage. You try and get your hands on him. Get the piece, and now you run with him. You, when he turns his shoulders, you turn and look. That's a good job by Moss, hanging in there and continuing to fight Booty. LSU back to punt. Witten again. High spiraling kick, a lazy kick, and it is to do at the beginning of the Alabama game, which LSU won 27-0. He kept, kept them inside the three-yard line, two possessions in a row, and that LSU took advantage. 9-0-1 to go, LSU by 10. Size 4 flower dress, $45. New color lipstick, $15. Haircut, $25. Autofocus camera, $260. Five generations in one photograph. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Accepted all over, even photo labs. You're buying a car. You know exactly which cars you want and which cars you don't want. But there are still cars out there that you don't know that you do want. Recently, Oldsmobile has come out with so many new models, they might not be on your list yet. They should be. So before you buy, find out all you can. Come to Oldsmobile's 100th anniversary premiere and test one. Or call toll-free to find out. Get creative. Get into a rebel G. Capture your imagination on film. Let Rebel take you beyond snapshots and experience.
experience the ultimate rush. Cool. Rebel G and only EOS lenses from Canon. The coolest competition, the hottest performer. The USA battles the world's greatest skaters. Who will win the all-new Ice Wars? CBS Tonight. 9.01 to go in the fourth quarter. LSU leading Arkansas 31-21. Arkansas with the ball on their own two-yard line. Literally have their backs up against the wall. They need to make a couple plays here. Incomplete. Intended for Eubanks. Sterner overthrowing it. Now he's just been out of sync. Look at these numbers here. First half, 7 for 12 for 220 yards. That's over 31 yards a catch. Second half, he's out of sync, only 62 total yards. And that's the trials and tribulations of playing a young quarterback. Sometimes the wildly inconsistent. One of his last six. All on the two. number 84 his first catch of the day a sophomore from Bass Troop Louisiana but that's okay at least you got yourself out you picked up four or five yards and now you've got an opportunity to make it on third down but this is a key third down conversion here I don't think they can run the ball again Gus they're gonna have to throw the football here and try and get something in that intermediate range seven eight yards so a big third down play for the home Twin receivers to both sides of the field. Stinson standing right next to Sterner. Sterner down the field for Eubanks. Incomplete. Eubanks may have had a step, but was unable to make the grab. Chris Beard defensively. Sterner. you. They rushed six people there, going man-to-man -man in the secondary. Eubanks gets a little bit of separation. And there is a little bit of contact there, but look what happens on the quarterback late. He's going to deliver the football. That's a good, solid, clean hit by number 98, Arnold Miller. Take that one every day. Matt Waite, punting in his own end zone. Kevin Falk standing his own 48-yard line. This, a short kick, dies in midair. Out of bounds. And they mark it at the 35-yard line. The Arkansas 35. A 28-yard punt. Thirty-one twenty-one, eight thirty-nine 8 39 to go. Don't forget, it's Ice Wars, the USA versus the world. Nancy Kerrigan, Brian Boitano, Oksana Bayul, Katarina Witt, Victor Petrenko, and Kurt Browning are coming, are among the superstars who'll team up in the long programs. That's all coming up tonight on CBS. Rondell Mealy running the counter. Got a block outside over the 30, inside the 25, and out of bounds. Del Mealy quietly having a very good game also. That's their version of the counter tray. See, the right guard is going to pull, and then they bring the fullback all the way over here. And watch what happens. Here comes the backside fullback. Fanica gets the seal. Good block by leading blocker there, number 36, Skinner. And Mealy does the rest. Almost a 10-yard game. 14 carries, 57 yards for Rondell Mealy. A sophomore from Destrahan, Louisiana. A nine on the last play, second down and one out of the eye formation. Skinner in motion. Mealy. He'll pick up one. Ken Anderson, the tackle for the Hogs. Arkansas came out of the blocks with a lot of momentum, but right now they're been wounded on the sideline. Not able to get anything going. Now 
another first down for LSU. Danny Ford's boys are up against it right now. Remember, LSU does not have an effective field goal game. Although Wade Ritchie did kick one field goal Correct. today, the first since the second week of the season, a 37-yarder. Mealy tackled in the backfield. Great effort by Arkansas's Geno Bell, the senior from Columbia, South Carolina. Geno Bell, another good football player. The strength of this defense is up front, front three. Bell was the starting nose guard, moved to defensive tackle on this particular play, will slice through, make the great play on Mealy in the backfield. And that's the kind of play Danny Ford and his team needs right now. A loss of four, second down, 14 to go from the Arkansas 28-yard line for LSU. They hand it off to Cleveland, and that play smelled out nicely by the Hogs. J.J. Jones, the outside linebacker, sitting right there to plug it up. Interesting to see now what they do offensively, whether or not Morris Watts will throw the football down the field or allow her Tyler to throw the football down the field. Pittsburgh still leading West Virginia, Nebraska on top of Colorado. In Boulder and Texas A&M, a final. They have defeated Texas. Here's her Tyler, the pocket just collapsing, and he goes down at the 35. Second sack of the game for the Razorbacks. And that was an all-out blitz by Arkansas. Seven men came, four defensive back defended man-to-man -man with no help. Now what happens here, these guys lock on here, and then everybody's coming right there. It's seven men attacking the line of scrimmage, and there's just too many people for the LSU front to block. It's a jailbreak, good job, and that's a huge call by defensive coordinator Miles Aldridge. Last week against Mississippi State, three sacks for Arkansas, 27 sacks on the season. LSU backed up to the 35 with 547. Dead, dead ball foul. Delay of the game, violation of the 25 second clock against the offense. Five yard penalty, still fourth down. And here comes the pooch man again. Jerry DiNardo. A little frustrated as Whitten comes in, standing at the 45. Did you know that Witten is also an outfielder on that baseball team? Good, good baseball player. Jeremy Flowers at his own 10. Wobbly kick. Flowers letting it go. And it takes an LSU bounce and is down at the 11. 538 to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas needs to make something happen in a hurry. Guess the plows miss this road. Good thing we're in this sport, you. Okay, she'll slow down, pull the lever, and clunk. We're in four-wheel drive nirvana. Come on, take me there now. Well, what's she waiting for? Why isn't she pulling the lever? Slow down and pull the lever. Hello? Relax. The Oldsmobile Bravada's got the exclusive smart track system. It automatically reacts to changing road conditions. No levers, no buttons, no need to worry. I feel like I'm talking to myself. The new Bravada. It knows the road. We all know how much help buddies can be. Look good. You all right on that? So get the new Workmate. The powerful clamp that can go anywhere and hold anything. Oh. The new Workmate. Breeze feels good, doesn't it? Built by Black & Decker. I like being in control. With this new Dinerex, I control the cause of my dandruff every day. New Dinerex Advanced Formula. Its medicine doesn't just treat the symptoms, it controls a leading cause of dandruff called Peel Valley. Now that's serious control. New Dinerex Advanced Formula. Once again, Honda is going someplace other ATVs may not want to follow. Someplace other ATV makers would really prefer not to go. and 7.9% financing on a new Foreman 400, four tracks 300 4x4, four, four tracks 300 and Recon. Now the best ATVs on Earth also come with one of the best deals on Earth. 
They'll be battling for bowl bids. Vanderbilt visits Peyton's place for his final home game. Then Donovan McNabb and Streaking Syracuse meet Miami. Tomorrow on CBS Just Watch. 31-21, 5.38 to go. LSU leading Arkansas. And the Razorbacks have the ball on their own 10-yard line. And their starting quarterback, Clint Sterner, started the game 7 of 9 for 220 yards. But since then, he's 6 of 19 for 67. Two receivers split wide to the far side, two to the near side. Sterner underneath, five Lucas, who had squatted at the 20-yard line and made the catch. Lucas driven backwards, but his forward progress should keep him up close to the 20. Now, because of the score and the field position, the LSU defense has been able to play a little bit more conservatively here late in the ballgame, playing a little bit more zone, playing a little softer. They're not going to let Eubanks or Lucas get deep get beat deep again. That's not going to happen. Jerry DiNardo is going to make sure that they fight for every yard they get. Picked up a first down there. From the 20, trips to the far side. Sterner, plenty of time over the middle, and it's caught. Eubanks at the 45, and he'll get inside LSU territory. Rayon Hill with the tackle. Here's Jim Nance in New York. All right, Arkansas needs a couple of plays like this. This is Pete Gonzalez for the second straight week, throwing four touchdown passes in a game. Juan Williams with the catch, and the Panthers up 10, surprising West Virginia. Gus, Mike? All right, Jim, the wheels starting to come off for Don Nealon and the West Virginia team. West Virginia is still bowl eligible. 439 and counting for Arkansas. Sterner operating out of the gun. Clotheslining him and bringing him down. Looked like a Dick Night Train lane play. <laughs> Gosh, you're not old enough, but here's the defensive end right here. That'll be Mixon. One on one with Abernathy. Speed rush to the outside. Does a great job getting the hands on the shoulder pads and allowing Booger McFarland to come from the inside and clean up. My dad told me about Dick Night Train. I knew it wasn't you. Going up in Detroit. That's right. Great corner. Second down at 17. Sterner. Over the middle. And a good catch. Emmanuel Smith, number 81, just climbed a ladder and brought the ball down at the LSU 35. That's a gain of 18. Emmanuel Smith is 6'2", 220 pounds, working on the 5'11". Cedric Donaldson, excellent pitch, excellent catch. And Smith known as the best athlete on the offensive side of the football. He can run, he can catch, and he can jump. Showed it right there. Sterner again, this time to the sideline. Got his man and out of bounds. Michael Williams is second catch of the game. Arkansas has two timeouts left. That's a good job completing the pass, getting out of bounds. But remember, they've got they're down 10 points. They've got to get in the end zone as quickly as possible to give them an opportunity to kick off, stop LSU, and get the football back. Sterner and this offensive unit just marching the ball right down the field. Second down, four to go. Once again, over the middle, and it's broken up. In and out of the hands of Anthony Lucas, but right there, the man that calls himself the cover guy, Cedric Donaldson, breaking it up. He's a pure cover guy also, Gus. He's probably not going to come up and lay the wood to you on run support, but in this day and age, that corners don't do that anymore anyway. I don't like it, but they don't. Uh, he's an excellent cover guy, but doesn't come up real tough on the run support which makes him a prototype NFL corner. Arkansas, three receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Sterner out of the gun, the entire, entire drive. Under pressure, steps up in the pocket and goes down in his own, rather at the LSU 29. Johnny Mitchell in on the tackle for the Tigers. Arkansas probably calling a timeout right here. And they have 
Water Girl is on the field right now. Sterner on the sidelines, talking to Kate Stevenson. 3.33 to go in the fourth quarter. LSU by 10. It doesn't matter if you work for a big company or a startup. Whether you work for yourself or to help others. Fidelity has a way to help you prepare for the day when you won't need to work at all. Whether you're changing jobs. Or happy where you are. Retired. Or just starting out. More people trust their retirement plans to Fidelity than any other company. It's your retirement. It's our job to help you make the most of it. I thought quarterbacks were the smart ones. That's right. Ooh, he has a shave. Oh, but it hurts. Another foam shaver. Hey, he didn't know about Edge Pro Gel. New Edge Pro Gel? This is New Edge Pro Gel, and it's a moisturizing formula, so it protects better than the foam. It doesn't hurt. Would I let you get hurt? New Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. Hey. All right. And now he is beautiful, just like me. <laughs> This is what they're playing for, the golden boot. Outlining the state of Louisiana and the state of Arkansas. The winner to receive the trophy. And as night has fallen on Baton Rouge, so has the rain. Big From play. 30. Sterner. Underneath incomplete. Was intended for Emmanuel Smith once again, and the Arkansas Razorbacks turn it over on downs with 3:29 to go. And Danny Ford has watched his team a valiant effort by his young squad. So I'm sure on the sidelines right now, with this game pretty much in hand for LSU, he is starting to ponder his future in Fayetteville the problem is that if they lose today that will be consecutive four and seven seasons and with Frank Royals that just doesn't get it done uh, yeah a lot of young talent on the team for Arkansas yeah. and personally I'd like to see him come back he's got three years left on his contract I don't think he'd go out and find a much better coach anywhere than Danny Ford the guy's got a proven track record I asked him what the difference was between this year and two years ago when he won the SEC Western Conference Championship. He said, Mike, injuries. Injuries and consistency. Ford starting to feel it right now on the sidelines. LSU with the ball at their own 30. Second down and nine. Rondell Mealy backed up. Broke a tackle, gets over the 31. He will barely gain a yard. Tonight on CBS, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, it snowed in on ice. Olympic champion skaters Ekaterina Gordieva and Scott Hamilton join world champion Kurt Browning in the story of a single mother who returns to her childhood home years after losing a skating competition. Then at 9 Eastern, it's Ice Wars, USA versus the world. Nancy Kerrigan, Brian Boitano, Oksana Bayul, Katarina Vitt, Victor Petrenko, and Kurt Browning are among the superstars who team up in the long programs. That's all coming up tonight on CBS. Neely running straight ahead, and he won't pick up any yardage. He'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jamel Harris, the middle linebacker with the tackle for Arkansas. So the Razorbacks... They just burnt their last time out, Gus. Trying to get it back once again. 156 to go. LSU trying to improve to 8-3, and 6-2 and two in conference play. And Danny Ford's team, they came into this game 4-6, and 2-5 and five in the conference. On one sideline, you have a coach in Danny Ford that's struggling. But on the other sideline, a guy like Jerry DiNardo has turned this program around after coming from Vanderbilt. Yeah, to the point where they had consecutive losing seasons when he came in here. Last year they win 10 games. This year they're going to win eight, and a lot of people in Baton Rouge are disappointed. And that's just 
he just kind of raised the bar on the standard of excellence expected here in Baton Rouge. Speaking of excellent, this young man, Abram Booty, just a sensational game today. A true freshman from Shreveport, Louisiana. And he has been all over the field catching the ball. 10 catches, 116 yards a season high. So in the punt, it is Chad Kessler, a wobbly kick, but he gets it to the 25 and a fair catch signal. And Kessler, who's trying to become the first punter in college football history to average over 50 yards, kicks a 44-yarder there. That's his second punt of the game. He had a 54-yarder in the first punt. Now, going into the game, he was averaging 50.4. And right now, his average is at 50.3. <laughs> so hopefully, he won't have to punt anymore. And I remember Reggie Roby. Oh, man, they were like guided missiles. So you know how far it's going when you're kicking the ball 50 yards from the line of scrimmage. Roby still in the NFL, playing for the Tennessee Oilers. Underneath, Emmanuel Smith with the catch at the 40-yard line. Well, I don't know how you let that happen if you're LSU's defense. Rayon Hill and Cedric Donaldson having a discussion saying, man, what happened there? Gain of 36. And you have to love this never-say-die attitude by the Razorbacks. And they will down it and stop the clock with a minute 39 to go. Don't forget tomorrow, rivalry Saturday on CBS Sports, NASDAQ College Football, a doubleheader, a doubleheader for you. Vanderbilt and Tennessee, the first game, Peyton Manning's last game in Knoxville, and Syracuse in Miami from the Orange Bowl. Number 16th ranked Syracuse trying to win the Big East outright. Second down and 10, Sterner in the pocket, underneath incomplete. Ball thrown low for Anthony Eubanks. Now that's a sophomore, one good pass, two bad ones. He had a great first half, a little bit inconsistent here in the second half. A lot of balls were delivered low, a little bit behind. I like him because he's a fiery competitor. He's hanging in there, he'll jump on his guys. He's got a live arm, about 6'2", 220 pounds. And there's Sterner. Career high, 387 yards. 160 of them came on two plays, right? Exactly. 280 yard touchdown. Third down and 10 from the 39. Turner in trouble, and he goes down. Kenny Mixon, the rushing in, his sixth sack of the season. Here comes Kenny Mixon, bottom of your screen. He goes in, they run a little loop. Comes right up the middle from his right end position, and that's just an athletic move by Kenny Mixon. Fourth down and 22 yards to go. Final offensive play of the season for the Razorbacks, and that's it. Sterner's pass. Sterner under pressure, had to get it away with 58 seconds to go. The LSU offense comes back onto the field. Sterner, a nice game. He has made some mistakes today, but the future should be bright with that man. And with this young man, Anthony Eubanks, the end of just a great college career for him. He leaves as the all-time leader in receptions, also the all-time leader in yardage for Arkansas. Herb Tyler in the game. He'll take a knee and allow the clock to run out. And you know, with that one touchdown pass he had today, he also tied Chuck Dykus and Derek Russell to become the tie for the all-time lead touchdown receptions. Four catches, 142 yards today, and a touchdown for Anthony Eubanks. LSU, let's look at their future. Last year, they played in the Peach Bowl. They improved to 8-3. and three. Where do you think they're headed? Second down. Well, actually, I mean, there, you, when you look at the SEC, seven bowl-eligible teams for five positions clearly will be in the Outback Peach or Independence. Herb Tyler taking a long snap down, allowing the clock to run down. He finally snaps it, and that's it. 
Jerry DiNardo and the LSU Tigers have knocked off the Arkansas Razorbacks as the Golden Boot will stay in Baton Rouge. And the Tigers improve to 8-3, and, and for that man, the questions begin. Will he be... Because of your tremendous response, the most exciting furniture event in Louisiana is being held over. The Grand... Brian 
does not have a really good move for a left-hander, although it has improved over the last 12 months or so. You know, it's not going to pick off anybody unless they happen to be stealing on the first move. But Brian Talent's job is to keep the runner close to the first, not to pick him off. Talent delivers, and it jams up, and he fouls it back. UCLA rarely steals. Only 44 stolen base attempts this year. 34 of 44. And Pearl, the leadoff guy, is two for three, so they don't run much, Ronnie. And that's a little, un little surprising. Well, they've got 117, 114 rather home runs. That's why they don't steal a whole lot. This time down goes to first. The relay down to one. Especially from the south. Big old one pitch. 
is outside. LSU 46 wins, 17 losses, winners of seven in a row. 19 wins, 10 losses to claim the Western Division Championship of the SEC. Johnson. MCLA, probably with the 